been like that for about an hour. Well, just ignore him. I need to get rid of him. Shy of a word. <sighs> oh, him and Peter just finishing up. Won't be too long. What are you doing here? What's it look like? Well, shouldn't you be at work? I am allowed a break, you know. Yeah, it's just that Finn wants us out the way, remember? Yeah, only if you don't mind. Yeah, well, I do. Well, he needs to talk to his dad. Yeah, well, I'm stopping him. What is up with you? Fine. Kick me out of my home. We'll go to the pub. Go back to work. You do what you like. Hi, Raph. Could I get a lift back to the village? Yeah, yeah, if you like. Thank right, you. Good luck. Give us some of them painkillers, will you? Oh. Do you know what? I seem to run out. Oh, you're joking. It's all right. I'm expecting a delivery later. Although, do you know what? I thought that you'd still have some left. It's not your business, is it? Right. I just couldn't help noticing that you've been in here a bit more recently, that's all. Give us a bottle of whiskey, then, or if you run out of that and all. Not that one. That one. Do you know, you should probably see a doctor if you're in that much pain. We were out the other night. And you never said a word. I wanted to meet you first. Yeah, but you could have at least talked to us before you went to see her. Look how well you reacted! Yeah, because we're trying to protect you from her. That is all we've ever done. But you should have trusted us. But we actually care about you. But if you want to throw it back in all our faces, then fine. Just don't expect us to come along for the ride. What's happened? Ask him. <sighs> Look, you'll come, won't you? Look, Ross, please. She really wants to see you. He used to ask loads of questions about him when he was a kid. But then he stopped. And then he saw the video. Found out about Adam. Are you okay about all of this? Look, I don't really care. <sighs> right. Right, I'm done for the day. Yeah, OK. So... Look, I'm a bit well, yeah, I've got to sort this out for Debbie. Oh, shift over, I'll give you a hand. No, no, you don't need to, sorry. I'll tell you what, why don't you get off? I'd rather be on the island. Want me a good lady wife, miss you? Do you want to go or what? Yeah, yeah. said that you disappeared and that you're in a weird mood. No, I'm not. Dad, are you sure you're okay? Yeah. Listen, why don't why don't you come back to mine for a bit? Andy's got the kids. Uh, no, no, I, 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 uh, I've got stuff to do here. Okay. Well, if you change your mind. Debbie. I love you. Right. You are acting weird, she's right. Are you sure you're okay? I'll never better. Okay. Well, I love you too. You've been here all night? Um yeah, I couldn't sleep, so uh... I thought I'd come in early. Oh. Well, Dan finished my car. Mm. Oh, is that all I get? A jerk of the thumb? I must say, I'm very disappointed. 
Would you expect a 21-gun salute? Well, at least. Plus a declaration of how empty your life will be without me. Hey, can you come back and look after the garage? Can you not do without me for five minutes? It depends how long you want to leave Debbie stranded for. What? The car's broken down. Well, it's just been fixed. Which is why she isn't happy. The brakes have gone. Well, you can hardly blame her. Garage can't fix the boss's car. Not much of an advert, is he? She's not going to be too happy with Dan, is she? No, too right, she's not. Her and Sarah could have been killed. Right, you, you better get over there. Yeah, right. So, a mechanic that can't fix the car. Hilarious, Dan. Brilliant joke. Except I'm not laughing. You're in trouble, mate. I've been, um, thinking about it. And I definitely told you that car needed brake fluid in it. No, it was, Dan. You said that you'd do it when I left. Call me a lie. I'm just saying there's been a misunderstanding, that's yeah. all. Too right, there has. Look, I don't know what's going on here, all right? But you know that I never worked on them brakes. Well, you're not going to be working on any brakes at my garage again because you're sacked. You are? You were. I forgot that we were meeting for lunch, and it would have been nice if you told me we were skipping tea too, or if you just answered your phone sometimes. Um, we'll talk when you get home. Misunderstanding? Yeah, me and Ken had plenty of them when we were together. <laughs> By the way, listen, I am the last person to make judgments, and I know what a nightmare it can be. <sighs> Never expect him to be a flowers and chocolate sort of guy, but sometimes I wish he would just say what was on his mind. Well, then he'd be breaking the habit of a lifetime, wouldn't he? Oh. Oh. I've just slipped and must have been grease on the floor. Oh, come on, Kane, don't give me that. How would you know? You're not a doctor, are you? Has this happened to you before and that's why you've been acting so weird? Look, I told you, nothing's happened. Listen, Kane. Oh, don't touch me. Just, I don't even know what you're doing here. Sorry, I didn't realise I had to make an appointment these days. Just back off and leave me alone, yeah? See here, you've suffered a serious head trauma three years ago. And? Sometimes these things can have a bearing. Well, I'm fine now. Still, it's best not to ruin anything out at this stage. Do you want to take a seat? You took your time, didn't you? Who are you? My name's Freya Hamilton. I'm the consultant neurosurgeon at the hospital. What's that got to do with me? Would you like your friend with you? If you've got something to say, just say I've taken a look at your CT scan. You have a condition called a post-traumatic intracranial aneurysm. Basically, one of the blood vessels in your brain has developed a bulge, most likely when you suffered your head trauma three years ago. It's the reason for your dizzy spells and blurred vision. How bad is it? It's manageable. So long as we operate straight away. Operate? No one mentioned anything about operations. The risk with any aneurysm is the wall of the blood vessel bursts and you get a bleed. It's a bit like having a blowout in the fast lane. Yeah, but you don't know that, right? I mean, people can live Mr. with it. Mr Dingle, if you don't have the operation and the aneurysm bursts, there's every likelihood it'll be fatal. Yeah, but operations, I mean, there must be risks involved. On rare occasions, patients can suffer a stroke. But the risks of not having the operation are far more serious... OK, you can stop there now. Are you okay? Yeah, I'm fine. I, I, I just need a minute alone. Of course. Take all the time you need. I'll just be outside. Oh, 
Oh, rough night. <sighs> no, I'm fine. Why are you taking them then? I thought it was just women got headaches. Or well, the blokes who live with them. So what have you got to be stressed about then? What does it matter? Because if you're hurtling towards some kind of breakdown, I reckon your family ought to know. I told you. The hospital said it was nothing. Just get off my case, right? I just right? don't believe it's down to stress and drinking. Yeah, did I ask for your opinion? So, my darling brother. Come on, then. Oh, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm probably being paranoid. I keep walking in and muttering to charity. Well, we'll be sweet nothings, that's for sure. Yeah, I'm not going there again. No, it, it's like they're plotting or like she sucked him into something. Well, I wish I could put your mind at rest, kid, but where my brother's concerned, never say never. Hmm. No, don't worry, I'll suss them out eventually. It's just... I thought I was done keeping tabs on him. Thought you were on strike? Well, a bill needs paying, can't trust you to do it. Look, there's no rush. I've sent Ross on the pickup. He's going to be gone all day. Right? I think that makes the slightest bit of difference. Oh, no. Deb's giving you grief now. Thought that was my job. Oh, he's only gone and sat down and replaced him with Ross. You joke, OK? And don't you dare try and fob me off. OK. I've got something wrong with my head. A fault in my brain, an aneurysm. An aneurysm? Yeah. If it bursts, then... Uh, then I'm dead. Surgery, if I want it. OK, surgery. Yeah, but there's no guarantees and there's loads of risks there involved. There are risks with everything. Come on, you, you were all right before. Yeah, exactly. They've been delving around before. I'm not a game of operation. All kinds of things could happen. I might not wake up, I, I could have a stroke, end up as a vegetable. I can't imagine me. So what, are you just going to carry on as normal? Knowing that you could die any day? Yeah. And what does Moira think about this? I mean, I'm assuming you have told her. No, no, and that is the way it's going to stay. This is none of your oh, business. Oh, come on, she already knows something's wrong. And what about Debs? I, I mean, she'll kill me if I don't tell I her. I said no! Charity, I mean it. If you... I will kick you and Noah out myself, right? Well, do you know what? If it's between that and you dying... You're not listening, are you? Kane, please! In breakfast, half board or all inclusive? Ooh, and we'll do junior sweet and natch. <laughs> no, go away! You're supposed to be at work! Don't yell. It's okay, he hates surprises anyway. You what? I am booking us a trip to Spain. With a whirlpool bath and a free bottle of carver. I don't want to go to Spain. Oh, fine. Start again. Destination. You could at least pretend to be grateful. I can't go away. Um, I've got too much on. Like what? Cleaning up after charity? I, I thought that was just me. You don't owe her anything, you know. Well, apparently he does. Or she'd have moved out like any other normal, self-respecting person. Look, this is my house too. If I want to stay, she stays. I wish to God I was imagining things. What have I missed? You don't want to know. Go and fight, but they're not all that okay, Corral. Tell Kane. He's picked on the wrong wimp this time. If Charity has dragged him into another harebrained scheme for losers. He must be insane. He is, though. He can't help himself. The minute there's a sniff of trouble, he's right there in the middle of it. Trust me, he ain't going to make the same mistake again. He hasn't even texted me. I'll get a bottle of white to go, please. If it's my dad you're talking about, what's his problem this time? Ah, oh, with him, where'd you start? Well, any clues, ladies? I'll be in the calfing shed, elbow deep. If you don't get a grip, she's gonna get sick of him. Mm, and soon. I get it, you get it. When I said it to Mum before, she bit my head off. It's not like her, sticking up for him. Oh, thanks. Well, it is now. One minute she hates him, next minute can't do wrong. I'll see you in a bit. Hey. 
Yeah. You and Charity needs to stop now. What are you going on about? I saw you before, outside, together. It's not what you think. Oh, no, you see, I know you and I know her and I know when you're both lying through your teeth. All the signs are there, Kane. You're kicking off, you're getting all moody, and all Debbie has to do is mention your name to charity and she's off on one. So I must be at it. What has she got over you this time? Do you not think that she'll do one as soon as some richer, more gullible prospect turns up? I love my wife. Yeah, it really seems like that, the way you're treating her. Pack this in right now, Kane, before it turns into carnage, because that's the way it always ends with charity. I have read that book before. I know the ending, we all do. Then tell me what it was that she wanted you to tell Moira. It's... it's just something and nothing, stuff. Oh, you're gonna have to do better than that. Stuff up here! Go on. Just been getting to me that I can sort out myself. Well, then I'd make it sooner rather than later. Moira needs you. We all do. God, you've got everything so right this time, Kane. Don't screw it up. Please. Please. <sighs> hey. Hey. I know I stink to high heaven. Do you want a brew? Oh, I'd love one, thanks. Have we managed to save the calves? Twins. That's great. Mm -hmm. So now I need a bath and then my bed. What you need is a holiday. Don't start. Well, we both do. Oh, come on. I'm too tired to go through this again. Well, the hotel you wanted is booked. Flights, everything. Just like that? I should have done it when you wanted. But you thought you'd make me suffer first. Kane, you have been a nightmare. Awful to live with. And you're horrible to Dan. If I, uh, If I told you... Go on. ...the truth... ...you'd laugh at me. Try me. I've been letting things get to me, you know, things that don't matter. It's probably my age. And that's it? Well, it's nothing that a few days by pool with a cold beer and my wife wants to sort out. <laughs> well, the order of that has been noted. <laughs> I love you. <laughs> Even though you do stink. No, you love it. Oh. Shut up, you love it. <laughs> <laughs> Well, so much for letting it out. So much for telling her everything. There's nothing to tell and keep it down because she's in there drying her hair. So you're not bothered that you could die before the plane even takes off? If it was that bad, I'd have dropped dead already. Oh, come on, you know the score. Surely the worst thing you can do in your condition right now is get airborne. But there's exceptions to every rule. <laughs> do you think she'd let you near an airport if she knew? She needs a break, we both do. Well, she'll be flying back on her own, you know, with you in a coffin in the hold. I won't let you do this. You owe me. I've kept enough of your secrets. But you'll be killing yourself. This is a matter of life or death. Yeah, you know what? I'm choosing life. And life, life doesn't choose you, then? Cos I'll tell you now, that bomb in your head, it could go off at any minute. It won't. You look me in the eye now and tell me you believe that. I believe that. No, I won't let you do it. I'm sorry, I need you. In court. When have I ever let you down? Moira's got a right to know. Oh, wait, you can't do this, right? If you do, I will kick you and Nora out tonight. You wouldn't dare. Oh, try me. Well, maybe that's a risk I'll take. 
OK, so he's got a swelling in his brain. What are you saying? What kind of swelling? Like a tumour, you no. mean? No. It's an aneurysm. You better not be playing with me here. Oh, Moira, I wish I was. No, and... No, you must have got it wrong, cos you would have told me. I found him collapsed at the garage. When? A couple of days ago, he was coming round. And neither of you thought of telling me? Well, I forced him to go to the hospital. And they found an aneurysm? No. Well, yes. Only Kane lied to me at first. He said it was down to stress and drinking too much. Why would he lie like that? Because, Moira, he's in denial. Well, at least I managed to get the truth out of him eventually. Look, he needs an operation, OK, and he needs one urgently, but because of the risks involved, he reckons he'll take his chances. Oh, back up a little. What are his chances? They're not good. And it's not a matter of if, it's when. That's why I'm hoping he will listen to you. Well, he'll listen all right. Or I'll drag him to that hospital. Come on. Trevor is a good lad. What kind of a name is Trevor, anyway? A name's Sky. Oh. Trevor's the bull mastiff with diabetes. Hey, and don't oh. get too close. She still needs deep fleeing. You what, fleas? Is that all that's wrong with her? Oh, the little vixen's expecting puppies. Is you? Well, congratulations, girl. Who's the daddy? Yeah, we don't do DNA tests. What the hell? I'll call an ambulance. Come on, come on. <laughs> No, it's Kane, he's not breathing! Hi, yeah, uh, ambulance, please. Um, down at the Ford at Emmerdale Village. Okay, can you hear me? It's uh, a body, we found it, it's floating in the lake. Where is everyone? I'm more to the point, what the hell are you doing here? Working, I think Deb's telly. Well, don't bother to unpack, you won't be stopping. Where's Kane? Yeah, that's what I want to know. Dan? Got off. Well, where? Cafe, pub, Apollo space mission? It's a space shuttle these days, not Apollo. Mm. Although, I think of it, I think they've been that off as well. Oh, oh, slow down, Kieran. Well, what's he doing there? Right, I I'm on my way. What's happened? King's collapsed. Right, I'm going to ring Deb. Is he all right? I don't know. I do want to right and disappear. How is he? Weak, but stable. And the aneurysm, it hasn't burst or anything. If it had, we'd have known about it. I've left him the consent forms to sign. His consultant's booking an operating theatre for tomorrow. Your husband needs that surgery. for tomorrow. Um, before you go back to sleep, I just need an autograph. Just here, on the consent form. It's not out there. Keen, look at the state union. You have to have this operation. The doctor said. Stuff of the doctor. What if I end up a vegetable or worse, eh? So you'd leave me? You know, I thought I had lost you today. And it nearly killed me. And now you're telling me that you'd rather end up dead than have this operation. What 
the hell have you got to be crying about? How's he doing? Moira, how is he doing? He's dying, Debbie. Thanks to her. He's refusing to sign the consent form for his operation. What? But he's got to sign it. That's his only chance, right? Yeah, if she had told me from the off, I could have talked him round. Now he's had time to think about it. He can't face it. What is happening? I love that man so much, I can't lose him. If he dies, Charity, I will never forgive you. <laughs> no, he can whistle. He knows my terms. Exactly. Get in there. Oh, right. about the winning. It's about doing what I can for the man I love. Thanks. Thank you. What if it goes wrong? And I'm still alive, but... We'll go. Well, where? I love you. I don't care if I have to spend the rest of my life pushing you around in a wheelchair. I do. It was something Cameron once said. What, that nutter? When I was on my crutches. Not much of a man anymore, eh, Grandad? He was right, I was pathetic. Yeah, but you didn't give up. But the effort it took. Just to be something of what I was. Again, you were ten times the man you used to be. And that thug who tried to destroy my marriage. That's not the man I fell in love with. He changed. And you're better for it. Look where it's got me, eh? Yeah. Surrounded by people who love you, that's where. Me, Debbie, Chaz. You've got your family sitting out in that corridor waiting to see you. How do you think they'd have felt if you'd have just given up? Right, okay. It's the last time you bossed me about. <laughs> Behave. I am going to be doing your head in until you are old and on a mobility scooter. You might have to wait until I'm old. doing here? Did the doctor say you were ready to come home? Not exactly. I was getting bored of the place. Uh, well, how did you get here? Did they give you an ambulance? No, they're for sick people. Plus, there was a nice little sports car sitting outside here, okay. so, you know... <sighs> that's a really bad joke. Mm, well, you can't blame us for worrying about you. You're going to keep on nagging? I thought you'd be pleased to see me. Of course we are. Oh. Come here. Mm. Right, well, I'd better get off. I'm going to see Rakesh go over what Sam might say in court tomorrow. Well, don't worry about Sam. I'll have a word. Make sure he tells the family line. Thanks. OK. Yeah. yeah. So why didn't you call us? No, I didn't need to call you. Yeah. <sighs> well, what do you want? I thought you'd know I'm out of hospital. OK. Hey, glad to hear it. Really? Well, we're mates now, aren't we? Well, I hope so. I guess you should be thankful you're saving my life, eh? So that's our account settled now. Tell your dad and all. Well, that's it. <laughs> okay. 
On your way? Oh, yeah, of course, yeah. Sammy, can I have a word? Rakesh is worried about what you might say in court. Yeah? I can't see why. You're not a grass, are you? Do you remember what it was like when you were in jail? We don't want our charity to go through the same thing. Are we clear? Crystal. Give Bella love you. And tell me dad happy birthday. See ya. Guess that ex birthday's the last thing on his mind. How did they sound? I'm worried. There's no one left yet. <laughs> Wanted to know, now that Finn has left, if he can have Specky's room. You've got to love that kid. Probably scared stiff under that big gob of his. That mother likes son, eh? Well, who wouldn't be scared? And I was joking, you know. It's a good laugh. Well, I'm glad you think that, because I've said that we can maybe look after him, you know, if it goes belly up in court. Excuse me? You've done what? Look, relax. Rakesh has said they've got nothing on charity. What do you think the court case is for? Just a chance for her to put on a fancy frock and, and clock up some sympathy points. What was I supposed to say? Perhaps that you run it... The fight. Think of everything you have to lose. I will. Team Charity reporting for duty. So this? I'm just telling she has to face today with some fire in her belly. Well, I'd stick to Rakesh's advice if I were you. We wait in the car, I have to pee again. That all looked a bit intense. Oh, she's not letting on, but she's bricking it about what Sam might say. Ali's put some idea into his head that Rachel must have carked it. Well, yeah, she told me. Dare I ask? Look, she did plenty, but she didn't kill her. What, and Sam still thinks that, does he? Even after you've had a word? I haven't seen him. He, he didn't come home last night. Oh, I was trying to avoid everyone. Don't tell Charity. She's on a knife edge as it is. Not gonna let her off easy, is it? Accordingly, the sentence I pass shall be one of two years imprisonment. <sighs> Why did you let me go? You're the one who walked. Yeah, I had everything I wanted and I just threw it away. Time's up. Moira's second best. I know she is. Just like Jay was. Why are you saying this now? The van's here. Because we can put this right. Kane, I love you. I always have. I always will. And when I'm released, I want us to be together. That's good. And if you give me another chance, I won't make the mistake of leaving you ever again, I swear to you. So, did she have anything else to say for herself? What? Charity. No, 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 that was all. I thought I'd add a few more bits to my order and see how you were doing. Coffee? Yeah, ta. Yeah, it's great having a traumatised kid with mother abandonment issues here. We have just lost Finn, after all. Look, Kane really appreciates you taking on Noah. Yeah, I'm happy to do it, if you'll let me. How do you mean? Ugh, it's nothing. They're having tea at Debbie's tonight, and I just thought it might have been nice to be included, that's all. Oh, I don't think Kane have meant anything by it. It's the kind of thing they do all the time. Hmm, I suppose. Did he say anything more about yesterday? He's not overshading, no. I mean, he did manage to talk to Charity before they took her away, but that's it. Did he tell you what she said? Something about Noah. But I'm not privy to that information either, even though I am supposed to be looking after him too. <laughs> I can't help it. Maybe you could manage a cake. Maybe. Yeah, when you finish that. Or you can let your Auntie Chaz treat you. What would you like? Iceborn. Iceborn. Oh, can I have a word? Yeah, just needed your undivided attention. You got it. 
Just wondering what the game plan is, you know, Free Moira. Now that charity's made you feel all warm and fuzzy inside. By the way, I'm really happy this is coming back to haunt us. Don't know what you're talking about. You two yesterday. He must have a really good hearing. Oh, you see, Charity told me what she was going to say. And now I hear that you're avoiding Moira, so I wonder what conclusions I should come to. I'm thinking not minding your own business. Mm, you're thinking right. What is wrong with you, Kane? Moira is your wife, and she's good for you. Charity's your ex, and when you two are together, then it's just, it's just very, very dangerous. But here you are, going all misty-eyed because she's playing damsel in distress. Get a grip. Oh, she's watching Noel for an hour, giving me a break. Oh, is it hard being a mum? So, are you uh, sure you haven't got anything to tell me? About? Charity. <sighs> you don't know, do you? <sighs> Fine, right. Before they took her away, she said stuff. I bet. And it threw me. That's all. Look, I owe her daughter. Only a few weeks ago, she kind of saved my life. Maybe. <laughs> but you owe Moira just as much. I know. Good. Just keep bearing that in mind. That's what you and Kane go up to every night. Yeah, good guess. No, it's for Noah. I just wanted him to feel a wee bit more at home, you know. I thought you were at the scrapyard today. Yeah, I was. Oh, no. What's happened? Um, uh, Eric happened. Threatening to go to the council to shut us down. Well, what are you going to do? I don't know. Bunging something to shut him up. A few grand tops. Ah. Oh, you thought I could give it to you? No, not give. I was thinking you could buy my mistake in this place. You've not even opened the gates yet. Yeah, exactly. Uh, and we've already got the truck. We've got the premises. We're getting the permits. I mean, we've got suppliers lined up. We've got a yard in Newcastle ready to shift as much stuff as we want abroad, Mum. I've really got a shot at something this time. Something of my own. And the farm isn't? No. Not anymore. It's yours and James's. But you're a part of that. And I will always be here to help out. Look, you've always given me everything. This is a chance for me to do something for myself. You will, yeah. For more than enough as it is. Have a pie? No, we're having a little toast, since you ask, for Adam's new business. More like all business, according to Chaz. Yeah, well, not anymore. Oh? Adam is going to offer him a small financial inducement with a little help from me. If it was down to me, I'd have induced him over a cliff. <laughs> <laughs> cool, zombies. Is it yours? Don't look at me, mate. No, it's yours from me. Why? Well, does there have to be a reason? Thank you. Oh, you're welcome. <laughs> All right, calm down. <laughs> Give us one of these, I'll show you our true master place. You do realise he's not going to do his own work now. All right, because you are so big on that. Anyway, I thought you were having a takeaway at Debbie's. I thought they could come over here. Unless there's a problem. No, no problem at all. Gives me time to kill a few zombies. Wait. <laughs> Free deliveries here. All oh, right, I'll give you a hand. No need, sir. Adam and Andy onto it. I've got to work them hard while they're still here. Which gives me a chance to talk to you about Emma. Chaz said she had a drink with you yesterday. Oh, we had a few words in passing. I wouldn't go thinking we were mates or anything. She made that perfectly clear. Right, so she did have a go at you. Oh, it's nothing I can't handle. It's not like I don't deserve it. You want me to talk to you? Well, and that's not going to wind her up at all, is it? I'm just saying I know what she could be like. No, oh, thanks, but if she's going to be sticking around, I might as well get used to it. Mm. All right. So you're going to tell me what really happened? I really tried to get through to her and tell her how sorry I was, but she just threw it back in my face. According to her, I'm responsible for ruining her entire life. She has got a point. Thanks for that. <laughs> it could be worse. At least you know where you stand. You going to see my mum? Can I come? After the way you'd be, I don't think so. Um, anyway, babe, it's, it's just my name on the visiting order, so... It's unfair. I want to see her. 
Right, we'll try changing your attitude and then you might be in with a chance. Hi. As I do, prison is no place for a kid. Well, he's got a right to see his mum. And who knows, maybe she'll talk some sense into him. Well, I thought that was supposed to be your job. Well, it's his birthday coming up. If he wants to see charity, why not? Let make his own mind up. Fine. Fine, just don't expect me to take him. Just keep your eye on, all right? We'll get a visiting order next week. Great. And then you can deal with the aftermath. I don't even like cut tomorrows. <laughs> oh, are you? You've got a long day ahead of you. I can't have your mum thinking I'm not feeding you. Can we go? You can do what you like. I'm finishing my brew. Listen, Laura. I know you're excited to see your mum. But prisons can be a wee bit of a shock for the first time. I know it was for me. So if you want, I, I could come along with you and I'll just stay in the car. Why? Well, that might be nice for him. Another friendly face. Look, it'll be fine. You have no idea how pleased I'm to see you. Right, I'll get a brew. Leave you two to it. What? No, you can't. Not yet. You don't need me here, do you? You're joking, aren't you? Don't you think there's a few things we might need to sort out? Please. Right, come on, sit down, you. I want to hear all about these A stars you've been getting at school. Maura says if I do all of my homework straight after school, she plays on the PlayStation with me. Well, go, Moira. What else does she say? She says that I have to clean my plate and do some dishes. But she's well tired about bedtimes than you. <laughs> well, come on, that's not difficult, is it? <laughs> she's like that with me and Al. And she says if I'm really good, that she'll take me and my mates paintballing for my birthday. Ten of us. Wow! Well, that sounds to me like you're onto a cushion number there, mate. You be sure to thank her from me, yeah, when you see her. Uh, have you got some change for him so he can use the machine and get some? Come straight back, yeah? Well, he seems dead happy. <sighs> well, I misses you. Well, any luck could be out sooner than expected. How come? Let's just say life has a way of surprising you. Anyway, thanks for bringing him. I wasn't sure that you would. Why wouldn't I? <sighs> what, after the show I made of myself? Declaring undying love. Well, you're under a lot of stress. People say things they don't mean. Do you think that's all it was, just stress? Well, I hope so for your sake, because I don't know if you remember, but I'm with more. Yes, I know that, and I hate myself for feeling like this, but... I'm sorry, Kane, I can't deny what's real. We were meant to be together. Come on, we always have been. There is no you and me. Well, you can deny it all you like, but you know that we've got something. Are you telling me it's the same with you and Moira? I'm not doing this. No, Kane, wait, please. Look, you and Noah are the only things keeping me going in here. Now, if I have to wait six months, six years, it won't make any difference. I've made some stupid, stupid decisions in my life, and you know what, letting you go, that was way out there in a league of its own. I'm not doing it again. Oh. Hey, how was it? We stopped at a drive-thru on the way home. Mmm, lucky you. But what about your mum? Was she pleased to see you? She cried at the end, but she said I need to say thank you to you. Oh. Can I go on my PlayStation now? Go on, then. <laughs> so much for being traumatised. So, is everything OK? Why wouldn't it be? Well, did she see how she was coping? <sighs> she wasn't really interested in talking to me, was she? And that's it? She was fine. Now stop giving me air, I can come here. Ooh. What's that made of? Oh, I don't know. I suppose I'm just happy to be this side of the bars, not the other. Yeah, let's just keep it that way, eh? Mm. Mm. Hey, great news. Val's coming home in a couple of days. Is she ready? 
Well, the hospital wouldn't discharge her if they didn't think so. But Zach and Lisa reckon we'll need to keep an eye on her, you know, help her get better. Goes without saying. Hmm. You seen Tracy today? Oh, not looking for her. Do you want me to have a word with Andy? Not the last thing we need is you getting involved. Yeah, and he wouldn't listen to you anyway. I'm not having him upset my grandkids. Can we just forget about him for a minute, please? How do you feel about putting you on in your pocket? Well, it depends how dodgy it is. Uh, it's totally legit. Jimmy wants to have the haulage firm. I can't afford it on my own, but if we go halves... How much? Well, Nicola reckons a knock down price. It could be a really good earner. Massage and figures, don't tell the tax man. So a bit dodgy, then? Well, all business is a bit dodgy, isn't it? I suppose you got a point, aren't yeah. you? Knew you'd say yes. Oh, hang on, I'm not saying anything yet. But you're going to think about it, yeah? You are kidding me. You heard what she said, easy money. Oh, remind me again, who else owns the haulage company? <sighs> Listen, me and Moira were good. Charity knows that. You want to bet? Hiya, Mum. Hiya, love. Guess what? Dad wants to invest in your company. Oh, great news. Cheers, babe. Let's hope he's a sleeping partner. Wink, wink. It's hardly a come on, is it? Well, not to you, maybe. But you're not a desperate woman stuck in prison. Don't go there, bro. Yes, Kane, just a man. I need a reconditioned engine. Why? Just blagged the mini off some bloke, Anna. Not gonna lie, the body works a little bit dodgy, but I reckon we could do it up, you know? Give it Vickers like a surprise birthday present. What do you reckon? Whoa. Come on, man, keep up. I'm going for a run. What, again? All you do is run and work. You've forgotten to have fun. Well, not everything has to be fun, does it? Aaron. Ah, there's no talking to him at the minute. Or maybe he just doesn't want to hear about my surprise with Vic. <laughs> Must be a nightmare being single. Oh, Jimmy. Sorry, but the answer's no. Hey. It wouldn't be worth me while. You've lost me. You're all age company. I'm not really into drugs. You made the right choice. I'll leave you to tell our daddy. Hang on. I am not remotely interested in selling up. It's not what I've heard. Nicola. Sounds like you need to show her who's boss. I thought I already had. Point I'm not calling the police. But either you or Lisa will take care of the damage at your own expense. Why should we? Because you did it. And you cornered Chrissy, like the big man you are. You made her feel unsafe in her own home. How would you like it if I did that to your daughter? I'd like to see you try. Did you get a fault of me doing this? Of course I didn't. <laughs> then I suggest you sort off. But we both know you did it. I won't be bullied by you. I don't normally hit pensioners. Unless they're asking for it. I really think you should go. I came here to tell you that this ends here. Because if you push me, I'll push back harder. What? You know what? Did you do that to a car? No. It must have been Lisa. Fair place for Hello. Yeah. Somebody ordered some nasty tasting cow medicine? That looks fun. I know. I'm behind because of lambing, so now I'm drowning in socks and boxer shorts. One more lamb since five. Might grab a shower and a coffee, slap myself around the face a bit. You know, you should have let me take over last night. Spent some time with Chaz. Yeah, well, she was asleep when I got back. I thought I might be more use here. It's a shame you missed Aaron's party. Paddy said it was good. Yeah, at least Paddy made it out. Right, well, I'll be back in a minute. Uh, um, you know... Chaz and Paddy, they're close because... Well, because Paddy's been there for Aaron, that's all. Yeah, and, and why would I think otherwise? Well, because it can be a bit weird how they are. But you don't think so? They're friends. I mean, I know the lines got a little bit blurred. What lines got blurred? When they slept together, you know, when we were on a break. Oh, I'm sorry, is that when, uh, that when you were married? Yeah, we were having a bit of a rough patch, put it like that. I am sorry, I just... Uh, <laughs> I assumed that you knew that. No, no, um, Chaz never mentioned it. Sorry. Is this some sort of joke? Why would I want to go to a hotel with Paddy? Maybe because I heard you yesterday telling him you loved him. Oh, what? So now we're having rampant sex? Or did you not stay to listen to that bit? You can't deny you said it. I don't! I do love Paddy. 
I also love Marlon Shepherd's pie, but I do not go to bed with one. Please, love, can I explain? I think I get it. Not the best idea. Oh, why have you got older mum? What's happened? Oh, well, you know how Dad's a massive loser? That. Chaz. Leave it. Chaz! Get lost! It's true. Stupid man. This isn't news to you. She knew something was wrong. I felt terrible. Oh, poor you! Go away, James. I was going to tell you right now. I was on my way. I had you all wrong. Will you please let me explain? I told you I got it. No, you haven't. Not the whole picture anyway. Oh, are you going to draw me a picture, are you? Or is there a video to go with that? Listen, love, I don't have an excuse, but it meant nothing. I was stupid. It was a huge mistake. Are you getting all of these from a book? No, I was down. I was drunk. She was someone to talk to. You are, aren't you? It's the big book of cheaters' cliches. Well, you know what my favourite part of it is? You having the brass neck to accuse me and Paddy. No, no, this happened after that. <laughs> Listen, love, the Paddy thing. Oh, save it! No, that's how it feels to be with you sometimes, completely exclude it. I know I was wrong to accuse you of that. Yeah, why? Why, I like him. He's a better man than you are. Oh, come on, Chaz, we were good, we could be very. Please don't let this be the end of us. Actually... Can you do something for me? Yeah, of course, anything. Right, cos I want you to go upstairs, get your stuff and get out of my life. Can we please sit down? Actually, you know what? No, I'll do it and I'll send it on. Because I want you gone now. Now! Why would you... Oh. So what, you've just decided that you love each other now and again, or something? No, she's decided to revert to type and be a troublemaking cow. Oh, yeah, because you've never caused any, have you? Oh, all right, there's been enough of a show. Let's just get going, yeah? But just so I've got this straight in my own head, you are stupid, right? Are you OK? What the hell were you thinking? I don't need an inquisition. Oh, just a brain, then? Yeah, you got that right. Cos I trusted you to keep quiet about this. <laughs> You guys are the best parents ever. Just slipped out. I misunderstood. What, are you ten years old? You knew I had one chance to make this right. It was a slim one. Come on, we're gone. Well, let's just go with yours, eh? Yeah, yeah, we'll come, won't we? Let's talk. Straighten things out. Have you actually got ears? You haven't got it in you to straighten things out. You are the same unbalanced, destructive lunatic you always were. Yeah, and what changes have you made from being the philandering liar I used to live with? I'm supposed to stand waiting. At least answer your phone. What's all this? James's stuff. What, he's leaving? He's left. Kicked him out. Hang on, you were fine again this morning. I didn't know he'd knocked off Emma this morning. I said wait in the bar. Yeah, I heard what you said. And James and Emma? Recently? The other night, she said. Oh, what, and you believe her? I believe him. He admitted it? Yeah, he admitted it to you and all, didn't he? Only slightly earlier than he did to me. He wanted to tell you. It, it wasn't my place to beat him to it. Plus, I, I, I was worried what you might do. Well, we'll see how that works out for you when I find him. I'll leave him. Why are you sticking up for him? I'm not. It should be me who has this chat with him. Oh, I don't want anyone chatting to him. I don't want it making it into a big deal. Yeah, well, it is a big deal. No, Aaron. Someone you love dying horrifically is a big deal. You know that better than me. When Katie died, he was fantastic. I thought, hey, hope. Could be the one. <sighs> I don't care if I'm enough for some stupid bloke or not. Uh, two pints of lager, please, love. I can't serve him a pint. Then I'll have a lemonade, a pint of beer, and a spare glass. So you can make a shandy? You should be grateful of the custom. Pubs are closing down all over the place, you know. Yes, and some of them for serving alcohol to children. Oh, come on. What harm's one beer gonna do? I've already given you an example. Yeah, you can keep the change. Oi, pal, stop hassling. I'm no hassling. I'm negotiating. Well, you can stop that and all and start walking, both of you. I don't get your problem. Maybe she doesn't want a sex pest in a pub. Yeah? Then how come you're still here? 
Come on, Lucky. Let's go somewhere else. Like the 21st century. Where's my mum? She called me to get my things, man, herself scares. Please tell her I'm sorry. I already have, but... Um... Instead of being sorry, why don't you just not do it in the first place? Don't get me wrong. I'm not remotely bothered that you're not together. I think you're a little muppet. Aaron, walk away, yeah. Well, because you feel awkward. Because it's what your mum wants. Oh, but you're big on that, aren't you? Giving her what she wants. No, it turns out I'm really bad at that, actually. I guess we got that in common. You are? Doesn't matter. No, go on. Listen, Aaron, I've let Chaz down and I'm sorry about that. And I'm sorry for myself as well because I've thrown away something really good. But you get a free pass every time you mess up. That's fine. You're her son. But, boy, do you need it. What's good and quick, Diane? Eric's got cooker trouble. Well, thanks for making us your standby option. Your best friend's just died. She's still getting over that and you didn't give a second thought to what was going on in her head. Oh, there's plenty going on in her head that I don't know about. You take up so much of a time with your pathetic little dramas. Why don't you man up and face what you've done instead of hiding behind your mummy? At least I've told people what I've done. Do the same, you coward. Right back. You're a lucky. I wouldn't expect anything different. All right, he's going. I should do something. No, 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 stay there. James? It's all right, I'm leaving. Yeah, we'll do it quicker. What did I specifically say? Look, I'm sorting it. We was asking for it. Well, I asked first. Are you okay? Yeah. No more than I deserve. Come on. Good timing. Here's his stuff. Oh, what the hell have you done to me? There was nothing to do with him, it was me. No, 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 no! no. Uh, excuse me, if we can just have everyone's attention, please. Debbie's got something she wants to say. Uh, I think you should say it. I've done enough of the talking, haven't I? <laughs> oh, come on, babes. Uh, OK. Oh, We're getting engaged. Oh, <laughs> oh, <laughs> <laughs> hey, nice one, bro. Oh, all right, all right, break you up, break you up. William, bro, it's not bad. Congratulations, <laughs> fantastic. William, what a present. Oh, you'll get one. Hey, little beauty, come here. It's just... <laughs> I made up for you, mate. Well done. Come on. Congratulations. I'm thrilled. Oh, well, I think we all know that's not true. No, I mean it. Marriage is a special thing. I hope you're very happy together. You okay, Dad? Yeah, yeah. Just taking it in, you know. Well, uh, she asked me, so I couldn't do the whole man to man chat thing. Make her happy, that's all that counts. <laughs> Come on then, Chaz. Drinks are on me. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Uh, Listen, it's all right. Chris has got a little bit carried away. She thinks she's some big shock now. There's no reason for us to fall out, though, is there? No? Good. So we're good, yeah? Good. We're absolutely golden, mate. Can I be a bride to like oh. was a dad's wedding? Yeah, of course you can. <laughs> You'll be a pro at it now, you can show everyone else what to do. Listen, mate, not nothing's gonna change, you know. I mean, we're getting married, but I mean everything with the kids. I'd not even thought of that. Look, Pete, I think you're the best thing that's happened to Debbie for a long time. I'm really happy for you, mate. Cheers, on that. That means a lot, mate. I, um, I know we've had our differences. Well, if that's what you want to call the Chaz thing. Yeah, but neither of us are going anywhere. This is a lifetime commitment, right? Right. So there's no point making it difficult for ourselves. Right. I'm genuinely happy he's found you. And I'll be proud to be your father-in-law. Well, I'm proud to have Pete. You should be. What you got there is rare. You've no idea how lucky you are. 
Well, that's my theory blown out the water. What theory? That I struggle to commit because I'm from a broken home. I've been reading up on what might have caused me breakup. You caused your breakup. Mm, did I though? Yeah. You and the sheep and the hives. Or is it because I can't let others in due to my subconscious fear of rejection? Just because he rejected you doesn't mean he doesn't want you. No. You just have to decide whether you want to fight for him or not. Well, this must go your turn, innit? So again. Magnificent. Yes, it's just clicked. Clicked? Or well, once they're married, we'll all be related. I am going to be stuck with James for the rest of my life. Every family knees up, every birth, marriage, funeral, there he'll be in his stupid farmer tweedy jacket, reminding me of my appalling taste in men. No, no, I feel. He was only supposed to be stopping for a couple of weeks when he first showed up. <laughs> You're supposed to be depressed. If I don't laugh, I'll cry. You'll learn to block him out. Oh, yes? How does one do that? One drinks. Adam? Have you been here all night? Yeah, I must have nodded off. Why haven't you called the vet? I just thought it was a slow fever. You know, it, it's too much you helping us out when you're trying to run a scrapyard. It's only drawing lambing, though, isn't it? I live. It's quite a little power nap, that's all. Voicemail. Right, I'm calling Vanessa. Well, hold on a minute, Mum. Look, I've given him his vitamins, but we're not even drenched him yet. It's a waste of money calling him out before we do that. Aye, and it's a bigger waste of money if he drops dead on us. There you go. Tap. So, you gonna tell me what's up? What? No, you've been quiet for a couple of days. Is there something I've done? No. So? Just, um, just thinking, you know. I guess that much. This isn't still about Marlon, is it? Why shouldn't it be? Well, I could see you were worried, but you're usually the one that tells people to sort their own mess out. You've never been big on marriage guiders before. I just don't think he knows what he's getting himself into. When you're living with a drunk, it's hard to see a way out, you know? I know Shadrach used to get violent after he had a few. But I can't see Laurel being much of a threat to Marlon. Booze does things to people. He gets so as the, um, the next drink is all that matters. And it's the people around him that get hurt, so it's them that need the help. Hi. Uh, thanks for coming so quickly. When I got your call, I figured that cow didn't respond to treatment yesterday. Right, I'll dive into it. No, the cow's fine. I just wanted you to take a look at one of my ewes. Is there a problem? Uh, no, 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 of course not. Um, Rona's better than me with sheep. <laughs> Maybe she should handle it. Well, I don't think it's too serious. Well, you might as well take a look now you're here. I'd, um, I'd really rather not. Right? Whatever you say. It's funny. The last day I knew that didn't want to be around sheep. <laughs> it's because she was pregnant. Anything you want to tell me? Oh, here, give this to Chaz, it should cover it. Yeah, and what about the lunches? Well, Dan said your menus were already, now's your big chance. Well, what's going on? Your girlfriend's on duty, me and my bottle are taking the afternoon off. OK, you were right to be worried. Got a bottle of vodka in the answer. Come on. What happened to your eye? Get into a fight? No, I walked into a door. This is where Shadrach died. I know. 
sometimes think I should throw a party here every year to celebrate. That's a terrible thing to say. What, because it was a lovable drunk? I thought you'd realise by now that they're only lovable when you're not living with them. I tried to save him. No more fool you. As far as I'm concerned, the world's a better place without Shadrach in it. I failed anyway. He was too far down that road to stop. I know I'm frightened Laurel's going the same way and I don't know how to save her. Forget about her. It's you who need saving. Go. I know you're trying to help Cain, but I still think I can get Laurel through this. I mean, I got her to the doctor yesterday. Didn't stop her getting drunk as soon as your back was turned. They're all the same, Marlon. I can remember when I was a kid. Lying in the dark, dreading Shadrach coming home. Sometimes he'd drag us out of bed, beat the hell out of us, cos we were drunk. The doctor said he was angry because the drink had made him lose control. It's an illness. <laughs> that kind of stuff is no help when you're on the receiving end, is it? Look, Laurel's not like Shadrach. I mean, she, she wants to give it up. <laughs> he used to say that too. I was really sorry the morning after. He used to give me pennies for sweets. I was eight years old. I started to save those pennies up for a gun so I could finish him off. I never got it, though, cos he'd always nick the money back so I could buy his next cam. I'm sorry for what happened to you. I am. But that has nothing to do with my life. Me and Laurel, we can beat this. You don't get it, do you? There's no magic switch that is going to turn her back. She's a drunk, which means she'll say anything, do anything to get a next drink. Well, there's got to be something I can do to help. I'm sorry. You've got to face the fact that the only person who can help Laurel get out of this mess is Laurel herself. She's got to see what she's doing, what she's become, and she's not going to do that with you fussing over and making excuses for her. So what are you suggesting? Get out before it's too late. I can, I can, I can. You've got to. For the kids, because they are the real victims here. You don't want them turning out like me, do you? Maybe you're right. Maybe it is the only way to make a face up to it. End to the drinking. You can't. You're going to have to kick her out. It's over. Is it? Yes. She's messed the kids up enough. Laurel's not Shadrach. No, she's worse, because she should know better. She's a lost cause. Holly wasn't. Oh, Holly was different. Because she was hooked to smack and not booze. It's all addiction, Cain, and it's all hell for everyone. But going through that hell with Ollie, I believe it saved her. Do you want me to come with you? I've got this. Hold on. I can't see out of this eye. I can't, I can't see. Shall I call an ambulance? Oh, not the fast if we take him. Come on. Yeah, but he might be having a struggle. No, shut up, will you? I don't know what's happening. Can you see anything? Is it still blurry? No, oh, it's all. Uh... Blotchy, and it's been getting worse all day. It's like something's dribbled in there. It's like something's burst. Please, what's happening? Is it, is it serious? Your retina has become detached. 
I guess that whatever blow caused that bruise, it's not the retina out of place too. Blow? What? Can you fix it? We'll have to operate. The sooner the better. Why? Because if we don't, you could lose your vision permanently. And Nurse will be with you soon to prep you for theatre. Let's get in cross-matched. This is my fault. You've hit him, haven't you? I knew it. You sh sh shut up, Kane. We've sorted it. You need to get to your appointment. No, I need to stay here no, with you. Not as much as you need to be at that centre. No, sensor. I need to be well, with we you. We agreed. I'm not I've asking. We discussed it. For God's sake! Call Rona. She'll go with you. I don't want you here. Not when you should be there. That's the least you can do, don't you think? How awful for Marlon. Yeah, well, he's a grown man. It's them kids of his you need to worry about when she starts on them. She won. She belted Marlon. Did you see that coming? She won't hurt them, lad. I know that's hard to believe with, uh, well, what you went through with her, Shadrach. You've no idea what I went through. Me and Chaz. Otherwise, you would have helped. I wanted to. number of times I were that close to getting you both out of there. And why didn't you? Well, there were, there were nothing to act on, like, no, nothing urgent. Oh, so so the, the bruises covered me and they, they weren't urgent? You were always scrapping with somebody. Yeah, to hide what he was doing to me. Kids hide bad stuff, don't they? In fact, why did you turn a blind eye? What were you waiting for? A trip to the morgue? Cos I tell you what, it almost happened. John, uh, look, none of that was simple. You see kids in trouble, you help. Simple. Do you know, we even ran away. No one even noticed. But you went back. <laughs> Only cos Chaz was worried he'd burn the place down with himself in it. I wish he had now, cos I knew he'd have been forced to do something. But uh, these kids, it's not the same. They're not even living with Laurel. Yeah, for now. She's on her best behaviour. She's got Marlon kidding himself. It's going to get better. But then the kids move back. What happens? We'll keep an eye out. I've told you, kids hide bad stuff. We won't know anything until one of them ends up in hospital or worse. They need her gone. Ooh. Oh, please. Oi. Why aren't you with Laurel? She's at the hospital with Marlon. Yeah, sure. Hello. Oh, he, um... You scared me. Let yourself in like that. How was he up? I don't know. Marlon sent me here. Why? He's had enough. He sent me to pack your bags. Marlon wants you to go. There's no way. You battering him, putting him in hospital, it's knocked some sense into him. I mean, have you been to your appointment? See, he's scared you're going to hit one of the kids next. Oh, come on. There's no way I'd touch this. Listen, why don't you uh, take this and get out? Go and drink yourself to death somewhere else. I don't believe that. Believe it, he doesn't want you here anymore. Well, then he can tell me himself. Why do you think he sent me? He can't stand you. He can't stand being near you. No. And he can't stand another second of your lies or your drinking. So, come on. Take this. Take it. Take it. Right. Now, go and pack your bags. You've got an hour. Or I'll come back and I'll drag you out of here myself. You ready? I have to work for my prescription. I need eye drops. <sighs> I hate these places. I'll get a taxi. Don't be daft. Do you know if Laurel got off OK? She was completely wasted. What do you mean? I mean falling down drunk. I went round. You promised me? <sighs> yeah, well, drunk people and promises. Still, not your problem anymore. Isn't it? I, uh, <clears throat> I gave her 300 quid and told to get lost. What? It's for the best. Are you telling me you threw her at my house? Well, you weren't going to. You had no right. She is vulnerable. Look, you're standing there with your eyeball hanging out and you're, you're still making excuses She's for my her. wife, Kate. She is an alcoholic. You won't stop drinking. She's already put you in April in hospital. I mean, how bad do things have to get? Stop the car, Kate! 
It's not always by you. She can't have gone far. This is down to you! I told you, look, she's down here. Oh! Oh! No, 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 stay back, stay back, don't look, don't, please, don't look. What are you doing? She just ran out, there was nothing I could do, I was too upset, upset to see properly. You've hit someone? Please, no, of course I haven't. What's this? Teacher, me and Lol had had a row. Oh, Marlon. Hey, you keep it. We're hiring a motor in France. You might as well use it. A couple of days, we'll have yours back on the road. Thanks for everything. Is it okay if I grab a shower? Yeah, sure, go ahead. What's up? I hope he's going to be okay with work. Don't want Charles getting stressed out before we go. Diane can manage. You concentrate on lavishing her with romantic dinners. It's price you fell for it, to be honest. And that would be why we're getting away from all the negative vibes. Yes, we might come to a senses. Chaz knows her own mind. I'm hardly dragging her there. Right. Well, just make sure you don't mess her about again, because next time you need more than your face rearranging. Just so we're clear. <sighs> I was Chaz. Emergency, apparently. Got to go. Too many clothes in her suitcase, if she's anything like me. A packing crisis I can handle, let's hope that's all it is. It's nice, Paul, you like, but they are getting on that plate. I don't know why you're encouraging it. Well, where would we be without second chances? Hmm? Yeah, because you were fine when you thought me and Charity were getting it on. All right, you can have that one. I was April this morning. I amazed Marlon got her into school. Well, I'd promised I uh, showed the calves later, so that might have helped. Uh, you will let us know, won't you, if Marlon's not coping? Me and Brenda are here. Yeah. We'll swap me for Noah. <laughs> Two coffees, is it? Yes, please. On the house. Bob, you take a seat. Oh, thanks, Bob. Look, I, I promise, whatever you tell me, no one will know. Oh, yeah. I don't know how I feel about her becoming a bar. Oh, it's not up to you. Yeah, he's a good lad. Saying he's not. Maybe she'll keep an aim. Well, why don't you suggest that? Why me? Because she listens to you. I mean, she wants to stay at Dingle, then she should. Yeah, you wouldn't let me stay at Barton. <laughs> totally different. <laughs> <laughs> Why won't they come and join us? I can think of a couple of reasons. We've got a happy couple. Don't look happy to me. What's that meant to me? I'm just sticking around. Can we get another drink? Come on, guys, what are you doing? Move yourselves, the party's over here. At last. Got the whole family here to celebrate with you. You're forgetting Dad, Mum. And it's not the whole family. Yeah, there's hundreds of us. Ah, of course there are. And I'm sure they're all delightful. What's she doing? Not until you tell me what is going on. Who is that? Fine. His name's Charlie, and it's a long story, but me and Ross, we kind of ripped him off. You and Ross? Does this involve the garage? No, it doesn't, OK? I was just helping him out. Give me the keys! So why would you do that? I told you, it's a long story. I haven't really got time for this. Oh, what, would it be in your engagement party over the road? Does Pete know anything about this? No, he doesn't. Well, I don't get it. Has he got something on you? Oh, you're being ridiculous. Right, so what is it, then? Come on, is there something I should know? You and Ross. It's fair. So you can keep that one. I'm going. Going where? You still not answer my question. You and Ross. They're gonna hurt him, OK? And right now, that is all you need to know. Do you even know where to find this Charlie Blue? No, I don't. But I can't just do nothing. They have got who they came for, so why don't we just go back to the party and have a good time? No! Yeah? We're not leaving him, Dad! Right. OK, let's call the police, then. Oh, you don't mean that. And how do you think Moira would feel about you leaving her nephew hanging like this? I'm tired of bailing Ross out. He can look after himself or not. Either way, I don't care, and neither should you. Yeah. Well, I don't want to stop you from telling me again. Wow, well, OK. What do you think? He is just what she needs. Huh? I'm happy for both of them. <laughs> Fingers crossed this one's for keeps. Oh, 
Hello, Dad? Yeah. Are you watching Judge Rinder? No. Oh. Right, so just on in the background while you sit there by yourself, is it? Look, do I come never in and know what you're doing on your day off? Yeah, loads. Anyway, I'm more concerned with what you were doing in the pub last night. I was drinking. Interfering? I don't appreciate it. And neither does Pete. It's weird. I'll tell you what's weird. You're engaged to someone, yet you seem to be fascinated with his brother. I work with Ross. And that's definitely all it's ever been. The rest is in the past. I can see it on your face when you're near him. And don't lie, because you know as well as I do. Now, what I know is that you have had a demented relationship with Mum for <sighs> ever, and you can't imagine anybody else not being like that. No, I can imagine lots of people in a normal relationship I'm just worried you're not one of those. Well, I am. So you can stop causing trouble where there isn't any. Anyway, I'll let you get back to your housewife TV. Wrong. Don't be daft. What are you on about? Why doesn't my mum want me to come and visit her in prison? <sighs> because it's, it's her way of trying to protect you. You're not, you're not the only one. She doesn't want to see any of us. Give her a week and she'll be begging you, I bet you. Ugh. No reception. Are you trying to get older? <sighs> no one important. Well, obviously more important than no stupid mum. Oh, I'm sorry. How is he? Well, you'd know if you'd asked him. Uh, do you mind if I nip to the village? Adam's asked me to drop some of his stuff off. Well, yeah, as long as you tell him to pick the rest of it up. Otherwise, I'm going to start feeding it through the sausage machine. Probably improve the flavour. Just tell him, will you? What? I'm just wondering when you're going to tell me. Tell you what? Whatever it is you're not. Oh. You made it, then? Well, me rather. Only some of us were getting the knickers in a twist. Why would that be, eh? <sighs> I'm going to tell him, if you don't. Fine. Adam might be the father of Vanessa's baby. Oh, don't start, all right? I just came to grab some stuff and I'm going. Adam, please. I mean, I nearly lost you and him because I, I lied about something exactly like this. Oh, right. So all that stuff about not regretting my dad thinking I was his, that meant nothing, did it? No, that is not what I'm saying. But we had Holly, we were married. You, you and Victoria, you, you're just starting starting your lives together. Me and Victoria are doing just fine. All right, we're sound. Won't be when she finds out you kept this from her. Yeah, but she won't, will she? Because no one is going to tell her. Oh, and that's your answer, is it? She's going to stick your fingers in your ears and go la, la, la. You can move in with her. You can make all the romantic gestures you like, but if this is your baby... The truth will come out of eventually. I mean, I, I know. Except I'm not you, though, am I? Yeah. Well, you could have fooled me. Your lamb's on a Paddy said he'd cover for me. Oh, nothing like that. Just brought you these. Oh, more sugar. <laughs> yeah, well, they were my favourite when I was pregnant. Adam told you, didn't he? Oh, Moira, I'm so sorry. You don't have to apologise to me. So why are you here? As a friend. And to make sure that you do the right thing. But if you mean get an abortion... No, I don't. And for all we know, the baby might not even be his. Yeah, exactly. But the fact is, it was hard enough for him to find out who his real dad was. Not knowing if this kid is his... Look, I don't understand what you expect me to do. Come clean. The way you did, you mean? John and I moved away. Adam lives down the road. Now, he's going to spend the next seven months watching you and Karen plan for a baby that might be his. How's that fair on any of you? And if I don't come clean, you will. Is that it? I didn't say that. You didn't have to. This happened? She asked me yesterday. Oh, she proposed, did she? After deciding that she was too young the last time. Mum. So she wasn't ready, but suddenly she is now. Yeah, that's right. 
She's facing prison, Adam. She's scared. But you can't base a marriage on that. Oh, you know what? Thanks for being happy for me, Mum. Happy? You're having a baby with another woman. How many ways do you want this to be wrong? Look, he's engaged. He's either going to be talked out of it by his mum. I just don't want to see you hurt again, that's all. I know, OK? And I won't be. I was going to ask you for Great Grandma's ring. <laughs> what, you gave it me last time? Look, just wait for this police thing to be over and then see how you both feel. Listen, me and Vic are getting married, all right? Now, the sooner you two deal with that, the happier we'll all be. Hello? Right. I'll pack my bag and then we'll go straight to yours. Are you sure you want to do this? More than anything. <laughs> you all right? Yeah. What are you lot up to? Ah, oh, nothing. Just um, a couple more miles for tea. Well, you have to fix it yourself, cos we're off into town. Yeah, yeah, fine. You know this engagement? Come on. Yep. Just so long as you know that you don't have to set a date. It's no hurry. No, oh, we know how you feel about it, cos you made it pretty clear. Now leave it. Go on. OK, babe. <sighs> yeah. Do you reckon we're doing the right thing? Hey, you're not having second thoughts on me, are you? But what if I go to prison? Hey, listen. I don't care if we've got two weeks of the rest of our lives together, Vic. I love you. And I want to make the most of every second, all right? So we're going to do it, then. We're getting married. <laughs> you can stop us. Yeah, all right. Get on with it. Look who I found in the yard. Adam said you wanted this whole gate shifting. Well, he can't keep stripping his mum's place for free and call himself a businessman. Uh, you'll get your money. Tea? Mm. So he's avoiding me then? He could say that. That's because he knows I'm right. Will you tell him I'll be around later? He won't be there. He's gone away for a bit. Since when? He just wanted to take Vic's mind off stuff, so they left last night. Police okay with that, are they? I guess so. So where are they staying? I don't know. When's he back? A while, he reckoned. He wasn't sure. So they've just gone without a word? Look, I'm just a messenger. I know as much as you do. I'll be back with you 20 quid for this gate. I know. We need to know what's going on. I'll go back to the desk. No, the receptionist said to wait. Yeah, what for? She don't even know which department she's in. Perhaps just said it was urgent. Well, it could be anything, couldn't it? An accident. Charity's no martyr. She won't get ill and not tell us. Just wish we could have seen her before now. Well, that's not our fault, Lise. We did everything except battering the door down. Yeah. Uh, phone her Debbie again. Huh. I'll just try to. Still voicemail. What's going on? It's Mum's. She was pregnant. Happen. Well, I thought you'd have known about the birds and the bees by now. I know who the bird is, but who the hell's the bee? Well, apparently, she wouldn't say. Obviously, someone she's ashamed of. Is anybody else getting deja vu? What do you mean? <sighs> Charity had no in prison at all. Didn't know who the dad was then either. Why would she go through it with the pregnancy if she was in this position? After all that trouble with Declan. I don't know why she wanted another baby at all. This must have been what she meant. You knew about this? No, no. When I went to visit her ages ago, she reckoned she had something up her sleeve that would reduce her sentence. <sighs> what kind of person would have a child just to take a few? And I don't want to see him. <sighs> Come on. It might be fun to have a baby brother to play with. Is this why she didn't want to see me? Cos she's got a new baby? No. Listen. She didn't want to see anyone. Has she got a new boyfriend? I know how babies are made and I don't want another new dad. Well, that's not going to happen. You can't promise that, though, can you? Well, that went well. You can't expect him to understand if we can't get our heads round it. Didn't you know who she was involved with? Why would I know anything? Your closest to her. Thought she might have confided. Well, she didn't. I expect we'll find out soon enough. Hey! Hey! Hi! 
thought I'd come and see if I could cheer Noah up. Harry's not thrilled. What did you expect? He'll come round. At least it's a little boy, not a soppy little sister. Hmm. Well, I'm just off to get Deb some stuff, you know, nappies, milk and that. Anything that baby needs, I will sort it. Not having Debbie out of pocket on top of being an unpaid nanny. Go on, Noah. Scoop. Are you? Fancy skipping school, going shopping? And stop off at Debbie's after, you know, go and meet your new little brother. Stuff that. I'd rather go to school. Hey. You and me need a meet later. Do we? I'm not stupid. I know that Charity's in love with you and I can do the maths. That kid's yours, isn't it? You're seriously asking me that? She wanted a DNA test. Oh, well, she'll be disappointed then, cos it's not happening. Hey, look! I've cooked us all a lovely tea. I've told you I don't want to talk about the baby. Declan isn't coming back, is he? He is the dad, though, isn't he? Right. Trust me on this one. It's not going to work you, your mum, or your little brother. Declan is not the baby's father. How do you know? I just know, OK? Why don't you go and get a drink from Sam, hmm? You're very sure. What else was I supposed to say to the kid? Why won't you just admit it? It's yours. I'm your sister. This is old. I haven't even started yet. Enough, I don't want to hear it. I wasn't expecting to see you so early. Oh. James was looking after the baby for Pete and Deb, so I thought I'd come and have a look at the tractor like you wanted. Oh, and it's a good excuse for you to come and see me. <sighs> Who needs an excuse? Hmm. How's Debbie coping? Uh, not great. Can you blame her? I mean, she's got enough on a plate with her own two without this one being dumped on her. Well, maybe the dad could do something about it if we only knew who it was. Well, there's no point guessing. Charity's obviously determined to keep that to herself. Well, obviously has her reasons. So, you finished your child minding duties? Yeah, had a bit of help. Uh, yeah, that letter came for you earlier. It's my decree, absolute pipers. So, we'll be celebrating that then, yeah? Maybe not. Kind of ironic that these should arrive when me and Emma have been getting on better recently. Well, maybe the reason you are is because you knew this was coming, you know? It draws a line under the past. You can be friends now. Yeah, maybe. Not thinking of getting back with, are you? No, I didn't say that, but it's a big deal to sign away a marriage. Even after everything that's happened. Emma hurt them all the last time, and she'll do it again. Mm. Oh, for you. Right. Not gonna read it? No point. So is that a visiting order to see Charity tomorrow? She got in touch, reckon she orders a few answers. Good luck with that. I won't go, not if you don't want me to. When she's just dumped a mystery baby on Debbie, you're going to have to drive you there myself. There's too many unanswered questions, not least who's the dad. Well, whoever it is, that kid should be with him. Well, maybe he's married, or not in the country, or maybe she doesn't even know who he is. No in charity, probably all three. Mm. Bye. See ya. You are gorgeous, aren't you, hey? Oh, uh, if you had enough, I'll take him back. Oh, no, we are fine right here, aren't we, little man? Oh, he's got the longest eyelashes. Oh, look at those eyes. And he's mad. You know, he reminds me of someone. Oh, Charity, Bob's. No, it's not her. You must have your daddy's eyes, eh? Oh, oh I think someone's got a stinky bomb. <laughs> Go on, Debs. Do your thing. All right. Which one of you witches is trying to ruin my life? You mean you've got one? The door's over there. Me and James, we were that close to getting back together. Now, all of a sudden, he wants a divorce. Why? Because it's over? No, because someone's been stirring it. Someone who can't stand seeing him happy. That's more your style than mine. You've been poisoning him against me since we got back together. It's hardly a secret that you were the biggest mistake of his life. You ruined his life, and the boys. They're all better off without you. This 
from the woman who's not twigged yet that she's holding her husband's baby. Sorry? That's these two you don't believe me. You're the only one who's not worked it out. Charity's baby. It's Kane's. Charity are over. Finished. I hate to break it to you, love, but when a man and a woman love each other very much, as much as Charity loves Kane. Right, you have a choice. Leave on your feet or your backside. Yeah, and take your evil lies with you. There's only two liars here, and I'm looking at them. I was upstairs yesterday. James left me with the baby, and I heard the pair of you. Every word. You cow. Every word? About what? Him and Charity. Before she got banged up at court, she told him she loved him. Always had. <sighs> Dead romantic, don't you think? Jazz? She might have mentioned something like that. It's not what you said yesterday. Oh, listen, it was all from her, OK? Not him. He didn't say anything. Oh, well, he would tell you that, wouldn't he? <sighs> this... This is their baby. <sighs> Deny it all you want. That kid is Kane's. I'm so sorry for your loss, love. Take them. However bad they smell look. No, no, no. He's been shifty about this baby. And now she wants to meet him in prison. I mean, he acted like he didn't have a clue. Maybe he didn't. Oh, she was all over him when he was ill. I was always walking in on them, you know, close and together. I had to elbow right the way at the hospital. She practically slept there. You don't know anything yet, Moira. None of us do. No, I know this much. If there's even a chance that that baby is his... By the time I'm finished with him, he won't be capable of fathering another. What? Look, I've told you, that kid's nothing to do with me. Look, I want nothing more to do with this. End of. But we'll talk tomorrow and sort it then, for good. What did you just hear? Nothing. Why, what's up? I don't like surprises, that's what. Especially when they creep up on me. Do you want a brew? No. Seeing as we can't run to champagne. A couple of beers. That should do it. Do what? Wet the baby's head. Your new arrival? Yeah, I was just holding him a few minutes ago. Proper chip off the old block. You must be delighted. Can we go now? In a sec. I'll wait in the car. No, you won't. Since when have you been so keen to go to school? I'm fed up with you two snapping at each other about what's-his-face. Well, I thought what's-his-face was meant to be the baby, not you. Hey. Can you take me to school? You. Mm -hmm. Get in the car. Bye. Jealous. Hmm. Must be a shock for him. Well, it's a shock for all of us, isn't it? Listen, do you want to meet for dinner? You know, clear the air a bit. Yeah, um, I promised Debs I'd take over. I'm supposed to be meeting somebody about a fleet contract. C can we do it another time? Right. And Charity? Does she get a window in your busy diary? I thought that wasn't a problem. It wasn't a problem till I've learned she's still in love with you. I'm not doing this. Don't bellow at me! I'm not bellowing. Debbie had every right to ask questions. She's the one that's lumbered with it. So ask questions. Don't go gossiping behind me back like a bunch of old women. All right, then. Is it yours? Do you never stop? It was a question. It's cow from the moment she wakes up. He sees behaving himself. Mm, yeah, well, last ten hours was a bit of a different story. Thought I'd walk him down to work, get there. Ross is on his Todd, Dan's gone here well, and guess what? No dad. You got a second chance? Moira, I'm so sorry about yesterday. Emma twisted things all out of shape. <sighs> what time's he back, your dad, from this meeting? There is no meeting. <sighs> well, there might be an auction. <laughs> Perfect. Well, we all know where he is, don't we? Moira, it doesn't mean out. <sighs> Thank you. 
recall having it in your front room an alternative birth plan. <laughs> what well, majority? Well, everyone needs to see a friendly face. Yeah, but why me? Well, who else? It's always you. You're the one I can talk to. Everyone's asking the same question. Whose is it? And everyone's looking at me. And I don't need it, and Moira doesn't oh, need I'm it. Oh, I'm so sorry I've inconvenienced your wife. How'd you do it, eh? Even from in here? I mean, are you even interested in how the baby is? Have you thought for one second what dumping a baby on Debbie is doing to her life? You didn't even have the decency to... Yes, I know that! I know that I should have seen it, all right? And I feel terrible about it. You know, I didn't invite you here to be horrible to me. I, d I, d I just don't need that right now. I'm not going to let you wreck my marriage. Whose is it? What if it was? Which what? Yours. Oh, come on, won't you just be the teeniest bit happy? Have you had a blow to the head or what? Just give me a name now, or I swear. I will never speak to you again. Please, can we not no, just... I'm not playing games. I've got somewhere to be. Oh, what? Somewhere more important? You think you're the only one with problems, don't you? Name. I can't tell you. No, Kane, just wait a sec, please. You want a beer? Okay, why not? So, how is she? Prison mum? Not great. Oh dear. Were you a comfort to her? No. That must have been a blow. She must have expected you to be. Or why else would she write to you and not Debbie? I've no idea. Unless, of course, it was to declare her undying love for you again. Look, we both know why I went. Yeah? Yeah, to get the truth out of her because I am so sick of this. OK. Great. And? Nothing. She wouldn't say, wouldn't tell me anything. So you kept asking, she kept refusing? No. I left. Do you want to know who isn't on the list of suspects? Me. Pete, you're the only one I have to keep convincing of that. Maybe not all. And the upshot of Kane saying charity is? Not a lot, apparently. Claims she won't say who the father is. Claims? Well, I just want to know the truth, Chaz. I know. I guess she's just going to have to believe him or not. Or find out for sure. What, hook him up to a lie detector? Oh, you've bought a DNA test. Oh, Moira, what are you going to do? Ask for a hair and claim it's for a locket? Uh, I, I took one from his comb. Kane owns a comb? I just need something from this one now. Oh, Moira, I want to know who the dad is as much as no, anyone. But he's keeping something from me, Chaz. I know he is. I mean, what else can I do? You made a promise to stay away. You paid a woman so that you could ignore a child in need. I told you, it's got nothing to do with me. He's your flesh and blood! I just want to tell her who we're talking about before she puts her back out getting on her eye horse. I am going to put your back out with my foot if you talk to me like that again. He says what he wants, whoever he wants this one. Yeah. I'm here about Kyle, his little boy. What about him? Nothing. His grandma has asked for help, which took some guts because she's a proud woman, is Johnny. She's lost everything. And he's told her to get stretched because that's what he does. Why am I just hearing about this because now? Because it's irrelevant. What do you want me to do, eh? I want you to be a decent bloke! Not somebody who knocks up a 16-year-old and then tries to force her to have an abortion. Sometimes I think we're getting there, but... You only get so far before you slip back to what you always were. What's that, eh? 
carbon copy of you. Look, we're going to help him even if you won't. What are you going to do, print some money? Hey, he's staying with us. They both are. Right, well, you're a mug, then. See, that says it all about you, doesn't it? I won't let my family be without a roof, and I thought the time would come when you wouldn't either. But you're still that same bloke that everyone's scared of and hates, and it looks like you always will be! You've told me about Joni and Kyle. Nothing to tell, I dealt with it. Well, it didn't sound like it. Then why not tell me anyway? Because believe it or not, Moira, there's a few things I've done in my life that I'm not very proud of. I don't need constant reminders. But we're supposed to deal with things together. Right. So we're doing this together, are we? I decided not to use it. Looks pretty used to me. No, I, I had a chance. I just decided not to. I decided to believe you. But you can't blame me for asking the question. You asked the question about 15 times. What, did you suddenly think I was going to give you a different answer? No. Because like Zach said, you do it and say exactly what you want, don't you? I'm sick of people telling me what I am today. Well, why don't you be something else? Well, maybe I should be somewhere else. <laughs> How's it going? Take a look at my face. Yeah, sort of always looks like that. Seen Moira since this morning? I wish you could say no. Have you talked to her? Oh, yeah, yeah, we've talked. Listen, I'm just going to say this once. Not on top of yesterday. It's obviously the same thing. Moira, Debbie, and Pete, for that matter, deserve to know who the dad is. <sighs> Do you know who deserves to know the most? Me. Because then you lot can all shut your stupid fat gobs and pack in suggesting I'm a liar and a cheat. Now, I've been both. I just wish people would let me move on. Right, lad. Where's Ross? Not here. I don't know. I don't believe you. Yeah, well, I get a lot of that. Can't find Aaron either. I need to speak to one of them. Well, good luck with that. I'm not. You know, I am sick of you people covering for each other. It's like vandalism and intimidation is all you're good for. <laughs> you people? So, uh, what kind of a person am I exactly? Pitiful thug. <laughs> well, I was hoping to be the village rapist, but your son beat me to it. Have you ever had one of them days when you think if one more thing happens, I'm going to pick up a spanner and I'm going to remodel someone's face with it? I don't actually have a spanner, but I am familiar with that feeling today. What's the matter? Has the fuse gone in your juicer? You're not keen on hearing the truth about yourself, are you? No, I'm not keen on pampered little tars running their mouths off and acting like they're going to walk out of here untouched. Oh, what happens now, then? I'm sure you've done this hundreds of times before. Are you going to beat me up or something? No, no. I'm just going to let you think I'm going to. Do my bit for society. You love it, you people. Is that what you tell yourself to justify your actions? I'm a thug, remember. I don't have to justify my actions. Don't get lost. Does Moira know you go around throwing yourself at other women? What, are you going to tell her? Look, if Robert's not doing his job properly, find some other mug to sleep with, cos I could do without the asshole. Oh. It's done, it? Oh, sorry, love. No. You OK? You still look shattered. No, no, I'm fine. Look, uh, thanks for having him before. Uh, he doesn't look happy. Yeah, that might have something to do with me. I asked a few too many questions about this little one. All right, and did he say anything? Well, what do you think? Oh, this is getting ridiculous. He can't keep avoiding it. Even if he has got other stuff on his mind. Such as? 
Joni has walked up with Kyle, Lisa told me. Flipping heck, does he know? Mm-hmm. And it hasn't gone down too well. Anyway, I'm going to see if I can get him to talk. Good luck with that. I'm really, really not in the mood. Oh, tough. Because I want to know what's going on with that kid. Mum must have said something. Well, as soon as I know anything, you'll know. I, um, I heard about Kyle. Oh, for God's sakes. Why didn't you just tell me? Because I didn't know I was going to be sticking around, did I? And before you start, I can do without everyone judging me. Oh, really? Well, how about you stop pretending that he doesn't exist, then? Look, Johnny doesn't want me involved any more than I do. I mean, the only reason she came to me is because she didn't have anywhere else to go. And she knew I wouldn't go all bleeding-hearted about it. Mm. Fair enough. What do you mean? I believe you. And about the baby. Look, you might be a squirrel, but you've never been a coward. Gary! I don't suppose you've seen Kane anywhere, have you? Oh, been at the coffee morning. Not his kind of thing, is it? Mm. Oh, turn into a right drama, mate. <laughs> Kyle! One, two, three. Kyle! <laughs> You stay away from him, you hear me? Do you remember me, Kyle? I don't want any trouble. I'm sure she don't mean any harm. I thought I'd never see you again. You won't be, so don't start confusing him. <sighs> Proper grown-up, haven't you? Get away from him. Come on, Bob, let's go inside. I need to find Kane. Have you seen him? Uh, he was in here earlier. <laughs> oh, hey, come on. He found the DNA test. What have I done, Chaz? I could lose someone with this. Neighbours. <laughs> I'll uh, see you later. What are you doing? This could be a deal worth a fortune. What's your problem? Him. He's a runt and he's up to something. Listen, if Adam and Vic are set on getting hitched, and, and hopefully not too soon, then his lot are going to be family whether we like it or not. So, yeah, we're going. And we're going to be nice. Stood. Let's not all jump into bed with each other just yet. More wine. Thank you. King? King. You okay? King. King? Top up. Looks like you could use one. Anything interesting? I'd rather have a beer if it's all the same. Right. Start talking. OK. Exactly how long have you been sleeping with my wife? <laughs> well, you're stupid. Do you think I don't have copies? You sent it to anybody else? No, I thought you should see it first. And what about your wife? Shouldn't she be your first concern? Oh, you're right. My concern, not yours. What, are you worried what she might say? Scared you might lose all this. <laughs> if I were you, I'd worry about your own wife, mate. It was a kiss. Nothing more. And anyway, Chrissy was well up for it. Maybe she's not getting what she needs at all, mate. OK. Just a kiss. He said that's all it was. Why should I believe you? Because it would be the smart thing to do for all concerned. Well, I'm sorry, mate. But it's not really up to you, is it? What do you want? Hmm? I just think Moira should know the truth. I mean, it seems only fair. Don't. Give me one good reason. It was a mistake on both our parts. I mean, my wife means more to me than that, doesn't yours? Oh, you think I can just forget about it? Well, unless this is how you get your kicks. OK. OK, let's say I believe you. You're right. There is something I want. Where Adam and Victoria are. Oh, am I? You tell me. Andy heard you on the phone to them. <sighs> Andy's got the wrong end of the stick. I don't believe you. So you think they've done a runner? Well, they've left their phones behind. They don't want to be found. The texts that Moira's been getting from Adam, I sent those. Why? I'm taking not for her benefit. If Vic misses her court hearing... Well, she'd be pretty stupid. Well, I think we both know the stupid one is. Adam's clearly talked her into all this. Yeah, well, she's the one who's up in court. Yeah, and he's the one with a criminal record. If that... That idiot's gonna make the whole thing even worse than it ever was. What do you mean, made it worse? Well, what's he done? He crushed the car. 
He got rid of the evidence that proved it was an accident. I want the court to know that. So you can hang Adam out to drive for what Victoria did to Ashley? <sighs> I just want my sister back home where she belongs. And my wife's son ends up in jail. That's not going to happen. I think you should think about that again. Don't know your breath. <sighs> three days. If I don't hear what I want to hear in three days, then... Well, go on, big man. You know, people go missing all the time. It could happen to anyone. And what do you think Moira's going to do when she sees the photograph of you and my wife? Is everything all right? Remains to be seen. Something happened? Tell me. How could you with him? Well, what has he been saying? It doesn't really matter. Picture paints a thousand words, wouldn't you say? So that was all pretty weird, don't you think? Yeah, just wasting our time. You sound pretty sure about that. I'm not interested in doing business. Just power games. OK. You and Robert were gone a long time. I'm not an idiot. There's something going on here. All right. It's probably best you hear it from me. Robert thinks Adam and Victoria ran away and he's worried that she's going to miss a court date. Why would he think that? They've just gone away for a while, that's yeah. all. I know. Robert's got himself all worked up. He wants to know if I knew anything. And do you? Well, no more than you do. So that's what you were talking about? Why wouldn't he have said something sooner if he seriously thought they'd gone on the run? I don't know. This is ridiculous. I'm going to talk to him myself. Best leave it for now, eh? Robert's stressed enough as it is. Fine. I'll call Adam. Well, you'd be wasting your time. Well, I'll leave a message. He'll call me back. No, he won't. So you do know something? They left the phones behind. Robert found them, apparently. He's the one that's been sending the text from Adam's phone. You serious? Well, I guess he didn't want people worrying they hadn't heard from him. He's worried Victoria will miss her trial. Well, he's definitely not worried about Adam, that's for sure. <sighs> I think he blames Adam. Do you think Adam could be in trouble here? Not if we find him first. Look, if you do hear anything, best say nothing to Robert. Now, trust me, I will deal with this. Keep going over it. Why would Adam do this? I mean, doesn't he realise how much trouble he could be in if Victoria misses court? Let's hope he figures it out for himself, eh? Well, I can't take that risk. I really need to talk to Robert. Forget about Robert. We don't need him. We'll find him ourselves. Hey! Lamb's loaded for market when you're ready. Thanks. Uh, can Pete manage on his own? Something came up and I really need to be here. You OK? Have you got a wall to mend or something? It's OK, Kane. He's got a right to know. We think that Adam and Victoria have gone on the run. What? I thought they were just taking a break. Yeah, so did I, but it looks like we were wrong. So if you can think of anything... You talk to Diane? No, not yet. But I suppose I'll have to if they don't turn up soon. Leave it to me. I will find them. What about Aaron? He's got forth with this kind of thing, hasn't he? I'll talk to him. But until we know what's going on for sure, just let's keep it to ourselves, yeah? Um... Him. If he knows anything, he's keeping his gob shut, so if that's the best you can do, I might have to reconsider my offer. If I was you, I would tread very carefully. And what? What, are you going to tell Moira how you had me pinned up against the wall last night? Go on, fill your boots. Oh, and, um, just in case you were wondering, I've shown Chrissy the photograph. I've forgiven her. The question is, will Moira be so understanding? No. No. I think you'll find it's the other way around. Tick tock. As far as I know, they were going away for a few days. No one said anything about running. I don't know where they are. So Adam hasn't been in touch. Because that's not the first question I asked. 
Look, do you really think I'm going to get involved with them running away? I've been there, remember? Living proof it doesn't work. Yeah, well, if we do think of anything, you let us know, yeah? OK. So what's really going on? And don't try and blag me. How many more times, Kane? Nothing, all right? Just give him a break. You've probably got it all wrong. Quick question. Adam's gone away for a few days and he's left his mobile. And I was just wondering if you might have heard from him. What is it with you? Do you think you're the Come only on. one who can sort things? He's my son. If I want to ask questions, I will. Yeah, because you did such a good job of finding Ross. Look, just give me a call when you get a chance, OK? Love you. Bye. What is wrong with you two? Ask him. He's the one giving me grief for talking to Aaron. What, does it matter? What did he say? Big fat nothing. Oh, great. So we've still got no idea where they are. Where who are? <sighs> Sorry, it's none of my business, I'm sure. No, no. We're trying to get hold of Adam and Victoria. Uh, they were on holiday last I heard. Huh? <sighs> this is pointless. We're worried they might have gone AWOL before the court case. Seriously? Mm. Um, since when? We don't know for sure. If you hear anything from them... Yeah, you'll be the first to know, sure. Thanks. Yeah, as much as I'd love to stop and chat, I'm already late for work. No, no problem. All you've got to do is tell me where Adam and Victoria are, and then you can go. I told Dad tomorrow, I don't know. Yeah, the only difference is, is they believed you and I don't. So, why don't we go through it one more time? Before it's too late. You gonna tell me what that was about? <sighs> it's just Robert being his usual smug self. You know, one of these days someone's gonna wipe that smile off his face. I just hope I'm there to see it. We must stop meeting like this. People are going to talk. Then do yourself a favour and walk away. <laughs> Why would I do that when I hold all the cards? It's funny, that, cos, uh, I know where Adam and Victoria are. Oh, yeah? Go on, then. Surprise me. Delete the portals. What, just take your word for it just like that? Do you think I'm stupid? I think you're way out of your depth. Well, you see, it's funny, cos from where I'm standing, you're the desperate one. And unless you want Moira to see pictures of you sucking on my wife's face, tell me where they are. <laughs> this is your last warning. I oh, see, there you go again, thinking you've got a say in this. Why don't you just stop wasting my time and do as you're told? Because I'm running out of patience fast. Try not to wind him up. I just don't get why he's not doing anything. Well, he's just as desperate to find Adam as we are. Yeah, right. If he was, don't you think he'd have found him by now? You look as tired as I feel. Yeah, well, I can hardly sleep now that Adam's on the run. Not since when? You haven't told her? Oh, Adam and Victoria have done a bump before the court case. You are joking. Idiots! Why would they do that? Because they're idiots. If the police figure out they're missing, we need to find them. You're talking like I don't know all this. Aye, right, well, I'm just going to go and tell Diane. Well, Robert said not to worry. Says when do you care what he thinks? Can we please just get it out of the way? Then actually... Uh, yeah, there's a reason. All right, watch me specs. The gold glasses for a reason. A nice one, mate. <sighs> Look, he knew, I knew. I don't know how, but he did. Right. Who's going to start explaining first? We won't go in court tomorrow. Yeah, we're not stupid. So why is Robert sending texts from your phones? He's doing what? I don't get it. We gave it Aaron so nobody would pressure us into coming back. How's Robert guy? i got no idea. Right, so, so you're not on the run then? Oh, of course we're not. So you didn't tell him? No. Oh, so you can't keep some secrets then? Look, I tried telling him that you weren't on the run, Look, but... I don't care. But whatever it is, you're going to explain it to your mum. Yeah, and we will do later. No. Now, you're going to get your stuff and you're going to come back in the car with me. Kane, we're not coming with you. Yes, you are. No, we're not. We're getting married. You... When? Tomorrow. 
It's the only slot we could find before the court case. Do you lot realise the mess you've made? What mess? Oh, we're just looking out for us for a change. Yeah, well, I think it's about time I started looking out for me. Yeah, and what's that supposed to mean? You're going to break your mum's heart. Well, that is you all over. I'm done with you. Kane, you're not going to tell me when where we are, are you? Please don't. It'll spoil everything. It's not her you need to worry about. I'm going to see you. Shut up. Just be there. So long. I've been waiting. Adam and Victoria aren't on the run. And you found them? They're getting married. What? When? Tomorrow. Is she crazy? That... He must be putting pressure on her. That's not what I saw. Anyway, she's going to be going into court straight after, so you can leave and be. As if. Marrying that moron's worse than prison. Where are they? Oh, you know what? I'm just... I'm sick of making threats. I'm just gonna go straight to Moira. That's why they're getting married tomorrow midday. They'll give me those pictures. Uh, you lead me to them, and then you'll get the photos. If I give you the photos now, what's to stop you telling Adam? Be careful, Robert. I'll be what I want. I'm in charge. So, I get Victoria in my car before she's married. Then, then you get the photos. Now, off you go. If she's not at court today, they will be. Look, you're fine. See you later, yeah? OK. Bye. So you're calling from your hotel room, yeah? No, mate, I'm still here. Just saw Kane. Well, he didn't debt me, did he? So, I guess so. What are you doing here? Yes. Where have you been? Don't. Traffic's been a nightmare. Take it, I missed it then. Well, what do you think? Probably best. You know I always cry at weddings. Look, you know, I, I, I'm going to have to follow on. What? Now you're going to have to help me get changed, because I can't stand in the dock like this, can I? Oh, it's going to be all right. I won't get the van, yeah? Oh, all right, but just don't be long, OK? Adam's going to need me, so that means I'm going to need you. Right. Mm -hmm. See you in a bit. <laughs> to be fair, he did say I wanted to come to the wedding. <laughs> oh, chop, chop. You get in the van or what? Uh, it'll be quicker if he helps me with this breakdown. You'll be all right with your mum, won't you? Uh, yeah, all right, I'll see you there. Hey, keys. Chuck in the keys, get in the car and I'll explain. Aaron, you all right? Aaron. Right, get in the car. Why are you having a go at me? You're the one who lied to me in the first place. I asked you where Adam was. So what now? What do you think? We get him out of the boot, and then we make sure he thinks twice next time he tries to blackmail me. Oh, well, he's blackmailing you. Well, obviously got a death wish, hasn't he? You're enjoying this, aren't yes, you? Yes, yes. I am, actually. Look, it's his own fault. What's this? Hasn't got anything to do with me. Well, why would it? I don't know, I just thought, with you telling me to come with you. Well, I could have hardly explained why I had Robert Sudden in the back of my car with Moira hanging about, could I? Why did you even bring him to the wedding in the first place? Because I thought I'd make a good alibi. But they got stuck in traffic, so he didn't. <sighs> I 
It's a bit quiet in there. How long's he been in there? Half hour. Are you sure he could breathe? <sighs> Only one way to find out. So here's what's going to happen. We are going to delete any photos from this and whatever flaming cloud you back up on. Then we're going to stage a break in at your gaff and get rid of any device with a hard drive or Wi Fi connection. Got it? We just still never know if you've got them all. Yeah, you're right. Which is why I'm going to show you what is going to happen if Moira ever sees one of them photos. Now, give me the code. I'll well, see you're going to beat me up anyway. I think I'll keep that to myself, mate. I was hoping he was going to say that. Because it would have been dead boring if you just blurted out the code, wouldn't it? <laughs> Aaron, wait outside. Reckon we've got a screamer here. No, you're full of it. You are. Robert, just shut up and do what he says. No, 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 let him speak. Go on. You've changed, and everyone knows it. Maybe beating someone up who can't fight back, something you've done in the past, but not now. You're cleverer than that now. So how about this? You untie me, right now, and we both walk away. You can forget about the blackmail, you can forget about the photos. We live with the stalemate. And again? Died three eight four. Nine three eight four. Oh, oh very good. I'm gonna kill you for this. I'm gonna kill you. Not if I kill you first, sunshine. Okay, that's enough! We called Andy and he's on his way. You've done what? This isn't right. We'll call him back. Tell him you made a mistake. No. No. Look, if he's blackmailing you and you're going to all this trouble, well, he must have something big on you. So you either let him go or I'm going to tell Myra something's up. You what? You word. Aaron, what do you think you're doing? <laughs> I'm doing this for you, making sure you don't go too far. We let him go and we, we just forget about the whole thing. You keep the phone and the blackmailing stopped, right? Right, yeah. Yeah? It's not gonna work. Run! Ah! Ah! Oh, well, trust me on this one. I know, I know. Where have you been? Jazz, next round's on me, yeah? Actually, don't bother answering that. Robert was in here a moment ago. Said he fell. He was gunning for Adam. Wanted to stop the wedding, but we've sorted it. It's over. I thought you were past all of that. I am. Like I said, it's over. Then, I suppose, thank you. For Adam's sake. You're bleeding. Back in a sec. Back from now. I came before you kick off. You're really stupid. Just wait a minute. First you lie to me, and then you do that. You had an idea what he's planning to do at your best mate's wedding. Yeah. So why did you stop me? Not that it's over, because believe me, it's not. Yeah. Well, you never answered my question before, did you? What's this photo all about then, eh? Must be something pretty bad for you to go to those lengths. You've been playing away from Moira. I don't want to hurt you, Aaron. Believe me, but I will. Just 
stay out of my business. No. No? I'm not letting you do this. All right. And now you're going to stop me. Oh. Are you serious? Well, you don't have to do anything to him. Because whatever he's got on you, I've got something far, far worse on him. Look, he was, he was having an affair. It's over now, but I've got proof. Lots of it. Texts, photos. Who with? Look, if I tell you, you've got to promise me that you'll just use it to stop the blackmailing. No more violence, all right? This stops now. Hey. Who was he having an affair with? Me. Here comes the bride, 50 inches wide. Ah, shut your face. <laughs> uh, you are in big trouble with Myra. Where have you been? Oh, I'm here now. Have you seen Debbie? No, I've been busy. So what's all this about Jay's car? I don't know what's going on. Fine, please, Chaz. Busy doing what? Do you know, I quite like you, but I'm really terrified of Chaz. Now, there's two good reasons why I'm not going to blow your little secret in here right now. You've got to be honest, though, choosing that streak and how you've gone right down in my estimations. Yeah, well, I don't really care what you think. Victoria? Yep? Do you know that brother of yours? Oh, please don't, Ken. <sighs> don't do that. We're having such a nice day till now. Did you know he's paying for your honeymoon? I was just up there now, right? A bit of a boring story, like, and there he was, clicking away on five-star luxury. Something must have pricked his conscience, eh? Well, tell him to stick it. No, wait a minute. He can stick a handshake or an apology, but, I mean, if we're talking five stars and maybe a spa, now is not the time for pride, Adam. Yeah, well, I believe it when it happens. Well, I'm going to phone him now, so... He'll think of something, won't he? Born lies always do. Now, why don't you have a little ponder about the choices you're making? Robert. Kane's already told us about the honeymoon. Yeah, and tell him I've not forgiven him for yesterday either, the little rat. Yeah. Hey. Hey, hey I was going to come and meet you at the hospital. Well, saved your journey then, didn't I? Is Moses OK? They're not operating till tomorrow, but, yeah, he's doing all right. It's my flipping mother I want to kill. What's she done now? She turned up at the hospital, treated the whole thing like a big day out. Well, at least she got to see the baby, I suppose. Oh, she's just so shut off, it's unreal. Well, yeah, she'll have a prison face on. Will she? Well, someone needs to slap it off her. She's a selfish cow. She doesn't care about that baby. She shouldn't even be allowed to have kids. Hey, come on, you don't mean that. He's lay there, hooked up to all the machines, and she's ordering the prison guard round like it's a Ritz or something. Do you want to...? When Ross said it'd be OK. Oh, Ross said it'd be OK, did he? Mm. And whose name is it above the door? <sighs> what? I'm part of the Church of Christ. We all have a duty to support Moses by prayer, example, and by teaching. As his parents... Sorry, 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 sorry. As his family and godparents, you have the responsibility of guiding him and helping him through the early years. Well, this is a demanding task for which you will need the help and grace of God. I'll need it not to kill Cain. You know what he's like. Let us now pray for grace in guiding this child in the way of faith. Let me just check if I'm still alive. So you've obviously come for something. So what is it? If it's so obvious. Still a bit jumpy after yesterday. I've told you, I've said, I, I've got rid of the photos, so... That's the end of it. Don't really care about them anymore. Do you want to know why? Now, the reason I'm not worried is, um That don't matter. What? Just come on, get it over with, what? 
You know, I'm not surprised your wife was after me. All the mixed messages. You give her at all. What were you biting for both teams? Aaron sends his best. And whatever you know, I will always know more. Just have warned Debbie the police were at the factory. Well, she'll handle it if they turn up, she always does. Yeah. Hopefully, see you at the wedding. Yes. Yours? Oh, right, yeah, sorry. See, this is where a five o'clock start gets you. Look at me. She's had it all on her shoulders. It's too much, babes. Oh, it's fine. Charity's gonna be thrilled when she is, me and you are godparents. I don't even know why I'm here. You're here to make sure Charles didn't have her fingers crossed when she renounced Satan. <laughs> <laughs> Usually laugh at your own jokes, Marlon. What's up? <laughs> Ignore me. Daddy, can I go play in the park? Of course you can. Yeah, Come on. You know, Jay yeah. thinks it's you that nicked his car. Yeah. <laughs> really? Only had the time. Well, it's not that that's bothering you, then. I know it's hard. <laughs> your mother dropping this on you, but you've got family. And Pete. Solid as a rock, is that one? Yeah. And yet you still want to run a mile. Look, you can tell me anything. Eh? Right, come on, you lot, get in. Picky. It'll keep for now. Come on, get in. Come on. Come on. Kids. Picky, come on. Come on, Jack. Come on. You can do it. Come in the front. That's it. Close together. You and all. Come on. I believe I'm married to this absolute beaut of a woman. So, sorry for crashing the babies, do, but, you know, we just wanted to say cheers. 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 Now, now, can we go off and be newlyweds now or what? Yeah, but it'll have to be the back room, so I've got to be back soon. All right, sir. So. And welcome to Baby Moses. Come on. Cheers. Come on, then. Get it. Oh. <laughs> uh, why don't you and me have a bit of a stroll there, huh? <laughs> Well, because every second is taken up with this. Yeah, but, I mean, if you're not happy... Ah. No need to point out Debbie Dingle. I'm sure you've met her before. Yeah, <laughs> what have I got to be not happy about? Morning out. Get off. I'm not a puppy. I hope you're in a better mood tonight. Just go home and get some sleep. Oh, and make sure you find some breakfast, yeah? Right. Bye. Have you heard from the prison about Charity? She's never there when you need her. You know that she loves you very much, don't you? I don't love her. Listen, I might go up to the hospital there, so why don't you come along and see your little brother? No. Well, you're going to have to see him eventually. Once your mum gets out, she's going to want you both together. I'm not going back to her. I'm staying with you and Moira. Well, we'll talk about that near the time. Right, let's get you to school. I'll see you out. Well, it was um, three big breakfasts, wasn't it? That's £13.20, please. Yeah, I'll get those. That's generous. He owes me, don't you, pal? If you say so. That uh, grind org is definitely knackered. And the silent bit needs repairing. Get a new one. With what? I still haven't paid for the food order. Oh. Expensive, is it? Yeah, about 15 grand at least. Well, uh, we'll think of something. Yeah, we're going to have to. Brenda is very fussy about what we pin on her notice boards. Yeah, but she and Bob might like to enter. I'm looking to invest in local businesses, and I'm offering mentoring and advice. Uh, if they could come up with a viable plan to expand this place, for example, well, I'd love to hear about it. Oh, when you put it like that, I'm sure she'll say yes. <laughs> Thanks. It's always good to put something back into the community. And even better to set up a charity and qualify for the tax breaks. <laughs> You're right. Yeah, well, wouldn't it be? Put a card on, please. Mind you, to make this worthwhile, I need to spread the net as wide as I can. I've got a contact at the courier. Excuse me. Cheers for breakfast earlier. Oh, by the way, I need 15 grand. What? More needs a new auger. 
I don't mind you taking the mick. No, I'm deadly serious. Well, you're not getting another penny out of me. I could always ask Daddy. Your choice. Here you want. Just checking you're not winding Robert up again. What? It's one thing making him pay for Adam and Vic's honeymoon, but don't start pushing for anything else. You're trying to tell me what to do? No, I'm just saying, leave him alone. Well, I have. Have you got any sense, so will you. Yeah, I know. I've got more important things to worry about than Robert Sugden. He's served his purpose, so just chill out, yeah? Right, OK. Good lad. Dan, why is the garage locked up? Well, late dinner. I've not stopped all day. And where's Ross? Well, I went off first thing. I've not seen him since. Why do I bother with you two clowns? Don't take it out on him. Get back to work. Mm, yes, boss. Where's Aaron? Why? Well, he keeps texting me. I hope nothing's kicking up. He wants to see me. I'm here. Where's the problem? You lied to me. You know what? All right, you've been speaking to Sugden. You're supposed to be staying away from him. So are you. Fifteen grand, what's wrong with you? I can afford it. He's getting what he deserves. What, because he played away? And you wouldn't ever think of straying, would you? Just leave it. Why, because you can dish it out, but you can't take it. Problem? No, no, no. We're fine. My life's just a little joke to you, innit? It's the way you live it. You're a walking embarrassment. No! Don't even think about it! You do that Stop again. it! What the hell's got into you two? Did you hit him? Because he's been blackmailing Robert. Threatened to tell Chrissy about us. What? Thank God you knew about him. Of course she knew. She's known for months, so's Paddy. You knew he's been carrying on with Sugden and you haven't tried to stop him. Oh, of course I tried to stop him. Like he ever listens to me. You can't use your nephew to line your pockets. Yeah, I was doing him a favour. Sugden's a user, only he's too stupid to see that. Oh, yeah, because you've never done how stupid, have you? Right, stop this, the pair of you. Aaron! <sighs> oh, yeah, no, you aren't going anywhere. What do you want Robert Sugden's money for, anyway? It's not about the money. What is it, then? Is this something you're not telling me? Well, you don't care about Sugden any more than I do. I don't go around blackmailing him, though. And do you know why I don't? Because if I told Chrissy what he'd been up to, then I'd land our Aaron right in it. But obviously that's something that doesn't bother you. Kane, we look after our own. Yeah, and that is what I'm trying to do. Well, hardly. If Chrissy finds out, she will dump Robert. And I have just spent the last five months trying to keep them apart, and all you're doing is pushing them back together. OK, fine, I get it. You better. <sighs> you can't just walk into my house. What, well, you care about giving your missus one? This needs to stop. Yeah, you're right. It does. So here's what's going to happen. You're going to cough up 15 grand, and then you're going to bung us another two so I can take Morris somewhere on holiday. <laughs> then we'll call it quits. Well, I can't just find that kind of money without Lawrence noticing. Not my problem. Well, you're not going to come begging for more? I'm not that petty. Well, Chaz slap your wrist, says she. Aaron said she had a word. I knew you'd back off eventually. I'm doing this for him. I don't care about you. I've no idea what he sees in you. But from now on, you stay away from him, do you understand? And you stay away from my wife. So do we have a deal? Because I won't offer again. OK. I'll get on to it. Good. No rush, like. Any time in the next 24 hours.
I remember those days, trying to get Adam off to sleep. Well, I don't get a minute's peace. Jack keeps shoving his toys in his face. Oh, another six months, I'll be the other way around. I could take him if you want. You just got back off your holiday. You've got loads of stuff to do. Oh, it's not a problem. Debbie. Oh, sorry. No, I can take a couple of hours off. Cut Pete some sleep. Needed. We are going to have a lovely time, aren't we? Oh. How is she? Yeah, good. He's sleeping better. Only walked for one feed last night. Listen, if you want time to yourselves, I can always have Jack and Sarah. Cheers, mate. So, uh, where's my dad? I went to get to the cattle auction earlier. Oh, that reminds me. He was chatting to me about Ross yesterday, about sharing the best man duties with Finn. <sighs> no way. Hang on. I was just going to suggest that you ask him to be an usher. Ross won't want to be an usher. Yeah, but at least he'll have been asked. And weddings are a family thing. Yeah, I suppose. Now I'll think about it. Oh, good. And then when I take you back to Deb's, I'm going to insist that I get really involved in this wedding. Make this a dingle barton affair to remember. Good luck with that one. Turns out he was an illegal immigrant. Could this get any worse? Yeah. We're not insured. When did you start employing illegal immigrants? I didn't know he was. Well, what happened to checking his paperwork? <sighs> oh, you prat. Here, um, give that to Ross, will you? Forgot his change. There's over 15 quid there. He's more money than cents. You're gonna have to cover this, personally. Ross. Yeah? What? I said you wanted me. A uh, visiting order from the absent mother. She must be joking. Can we help you? I am an usher. Mm. You said yes. Obviously. Right, let's go. Andy's meters there. Can I not give you my measurements or something? It's safer if you try it on. It's safe for you if I don't. Oh, would you look you came? All right, let's just get this over with, please. Oh, wow, you guys are the best. Can't wait for this dag. What did you really want me for? I told you. It can wait. Probably nothing. Now, go and find something that I want to rip straight off you. Have you also forgotten who you're engaged to? Sorry? It just seems to me that you might be a bit confused. What are you talking about? I'm talking about you at the garage last night with your tongue down Rossi's throat. Trying to swear pain, Dad. No, no, my rad. Sorry, mate, can't stop long. Oh, that's all right. Let me guess. Kilts and top hats. Ah, uh, you'll have to wait and see. Please. Does it feel real yet? Well, I'm not gonna lie. There were a few nerves trying on the suit. It's never too late to back out. Uh, get lost. As long as you're short, you know so what we don't. Ah, uh, he knows nothing. No, I'm just saying it sounds like you're bricking it, that's all. Could be cold feet. Boys, please, we go this far, haven't we? Yeah, we'll get a lot further if he keeps his gob shut. The only thing Sorry to break up the fun, guys, but we've got that thing. Me? Eh? That top secret stag thing, remember? No. I like it, very discreet. Come on. Sorry, guys, I didn't realise the time. We were on a job together. Something on your mind, Auntie Moira? Should there be? I know you know about me and Debbie. And thank you for not saying out. I only kept quiet because Debbie came to her senses. But what about you? What's that? Try to send another visiting order. Mm. It's two in a week. She really is desperate. I presume you don't want it. No, I don't. Right, I'm off for a shower. You okay? Sorry? The visiting order. Why is Charity sending him to Kane? I haven't got a thing for him, has she? Oh, I wouldn't care if she did. She can click her fingers at Kane until the red draw. She wouldn't get anywhere. You think she'd be grateful you're looking after her kid? Never mind asking for a borrow of your fella. <laughs> no, I wasn't meaning to go for her. I just know they've got a history. Right. I guess that's what happens when you've got loads of time on your hands. Makes you build up things in your head. Still. Not like you can try it on behind bars, is it? Any bloke can hold a sheep steady. Then call any bloke. Or call Adam. About time your kid's dad got used to you bossing him about. 
On the lottery. Another visiting order from charity. For Noah. And I wish. For Keen. Only ever for Keen. Hiya. Hey. Hey, are you going to come with me to the bright lights of Horton? No, I want to see my mum. Oh, sorry, kid. No can do. She told you to say that. No, I didn't. Shut up. Oi! Watch your mouth, you. Noah, what has brought this on? Why do you think I'd stop you from seeing your mum? You hate her. I don't. You're a lying cow. <sighs> no. He needs telling. What, that his mum doesn't want anything to do with him? He'll crush him. We're not talking about him doing him any favours, is it? Kid's more messed up now than he ever was. Hi. Has he come down yet? What happened to your real farm and Is he not coping with his brother having it away with your Aaron? Shut up. Do you reckon Robert's always liked a bit of rough, or was it your Aaron that turned him? If you want your face rearranging for tomorrow's rehearsal, then keep on talking. Hey! Where are you off to? To see my mum. No, I would take you right now if I could. Why won't you? Because we need a visiting order. Your mum has to ask for you, but she's only asked for Keen. So she don't want to see me? Not in prison. No, not like that. It's difficult for her. I've seen her there before. She was fine. I bet, bet when you'd gone, she was a right mess. Like I am, after I come back from seeing my two girls. I mean, they're not anywhere as hard as prison, but they're not with me, and it hurts. But at least I have Adam to come back to, and Kane, and you. I think that your mum won't see you because she loves you so much. All right, can I go on PlayStation? <laughs> yeah, of course. Hey, I'll give you a game. Thanks. Have you seen that visit order? No, I haven't seen it. It's not here. Did you need it? No, I was just curious. I'm going to be City. Chelsea. Done. Hi. You haven't forgotten that we've got the wedding rehearsal? Why would I? Well, I just wasn't sure if you were planning to see Charity. Well, a bit difficult since we've lost our visiting order. Well, there's nothing to stop you ringing up and getting another one. Could. Or I could head but a rusty spike. Don't you think you should talk to her about her seeing Noah? No. We'll leave her be. And with any luck, they'll bring back anger and then we'll be shot over for good. And that's a silver jag. F-type. What plate is that? OK, good. Well, I'll have one of my guys come round and pick it up. OK, cheerio. Thanks, Sam. One of my guys? It's called sounding professional, so we don't look like a two-bit garage run by an old con and a bird. You don't like it? You can always go back to mugging old ladies. Hey, I'm drumming up business here. This guy, seriously minted. He's hit something and knocked his front axle. Gonna need the truck. Needs his car picking up sharpish. Better get a shift on, then. Well, I can't do it. I'm on the Skipdale job. Well, don't look at me, because I'm gonna be stuck in a church. F-type jag worth a few grand or Debbie's rehearsal divorce in a month. Oh, watch your mouth. This job is worth a few bags of sand. Put your foot down, you'll be back before the vows. Give it here. Oh, well, I'm busy. Fine. Well, you can tell Moira why we're having an affair. You what? Oh, didn't you know? It's what Robert's planning on telling everyone. He's going to use those photographs to prove it. Right. Where are they? Can't just barge in here. They're on here. Eh? There's what on there? The photos you said you got rid of. I don't know what you're on about. <sighs> Great, really mature. So where are the rest of the copies? Nope, still lost me. You don't get it, do you? You've got nothing on me now, my secret's out. <sighs> oh. <sighs> what are you going to do? You're going to kill me? I tried that before, remember? Except I was not here to protect you, is he? <laughs> okay, 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 okay. All right, maybe I did keep some photos, but I'll get rid of them this time. I mean it. Look, all I wanted is what she owes me. If you're lying to me, if you breathe one word about those photos, I will torture you. Then I will kill you. Right. 
Yeah, hi. Um, my husband's supposed to be visiting one of your inmates today, a charity dingo. I, I just wonder if he could tell me if he got there or okay. Oh, sorry. Cane dingo. He's there. Are you sure? Uh, no, no, no message. Uh, thanks for your help. See him? Yep. And? And it's sorted, isn't it? If you've got any sense, you'll give him what he's after. Give in to him? What about your life? It'll cost you. What? No! I'm not asking. I'm telling. More ears about this. Robert won't be your problem. I will. How'd it go? Oh, yeah, fantastic. I did exactly what you said, and thanks to you, that problem of mine, it just got worse. Is that why you're here? To have a moan at me? In the circumstances, I think it was best that you weren't there. Right. Well, as much as I've enjoyed this little chat... I found out what happened to the visiting order, by the way. Turns out it wasn't put out in the rubbish after all. Oh, that is a load off my mind. You know how I know? Because you kept it. Right. Remind me why again? I'm a little sketchy on the details. OK. Fine. If you won't tell me, you can tell Kate. Right. OK. OK what? I did go and see her. So why lie? And make me think it was Kane? Why do you think? Because of Debbie. I thought if we could get Jared T to talk to her, she might call off this stupid wedding. It is one week to the stupid wedding. The time for whatever you thought might happen is way past. Is that right? She has made her decision, Ross. And the sooner you accept it, the sooner the rest of us can get on with our lives. Nope, don't work too hard. A bit late now. Actually, I was just about to take a break. All right, well, the kettle's still warm. What about the bed? You got time? I can make time for you. Oh, lucky me. Exactly. So, uh, what's brought this on? You've just been looking out the cows. Oh, please don't tell me we have reached the stage where we need a reason. Okay. Well, we'll have to be quick. Why? Somewhere you need to be? No, it's the I'm in. Oh, we'll go get cleaned up then. <laughs> Don't bother. Hey, what about James and Andy? I told you I'm not into that kind of thing. <laughs> okay, but you are still buying me lunch later. Deal. In. Robert, it's over. Just please leave me alone. You were now. Do one. Right, fine. I don't need photos to get what I'm owed. Just as well. Now leave it or you really will get what you're owed. How long? <laughs> How did you do that for? Don't you dare play dumb with me. We're coming down. You. Some things you just can't have because they don't belong to you. I've seen the photos. Photos? What are you going on about? Oh, you need to hey. calm down. You and her, for God's sake, Kate. There's only one person in my marriage sleeping with another man and it's not me. No, what the hell? Moira. Moira. Glad to see we're not the only couple with marital problems. Who gave you those? They were here waiting for me. Someone was keen for me to see them. Sorry if I spoiled your fun. Do you want me to explain, or are you just going to presume the worst? Go on. It was just a stupid kiss. So you think that I'm blowing it all out of proportion? Yeah. <laughs> well, then, I ask myself, if it's no big deal, how many others have there been? It was a one-off. Look, you really don't want to push this. How am I ever supposed to trust you? You're the one who got a DNA test behind my back. Now, that was planned and deliberate, so don't talk to me about trust. And there it is. I wondered how long it would take. You get caught on camera with another woman well, and what else do you want me to say? I want you to say I've made a mistake. There's another man in that picture, not my husband. You can't, because we both know that's not true. 
We really need to let this go. We have come through worse than this. Exactly. And yet here we are again. She means nothing to me. To us. She just threw herself at you, did she? Is that it? Wrong place, wrong time. I know, I think you owe me a little bit more than that. It's bad enough Kyle knocking around the place again. But then you, Debbie, Chaz, all think that Charity's kid's mine as well. It was just a stupid kiss. I saw red. I suppose it was my way of getting back at you. How many times are we going to let other people come between us? No one is going to come between us. Because it's happening a little too easily. Well, that stops right now. And, I, and it makes me worry about what that says about us and our marriage. I can't change who I am. But neither could anybody else until I met you. Right. You know, I think I've made a difference. Yes, I do. So don't throw it all away because of this. If you ever do anything like this to me again, next time there will be no second chances, do you understand? I love you, you know. But it's nothing without trust. And if you mean what you say, then I suppose it's up to you to get that back. I'd hate for whoever brought these into our home to think that they could break us apart so easily. You did okay yesterday. But don't go thinking you can relax. Still need to make sure Ross keeps away from Debbie. He's gone. Gone? Gone where? I don't know. You know nothing about me or my family. It's not worth it, sis. I think you'd better go. Yeah. I'd be happy to. <sighs> Oi! Lady! You want to get your facts right? I tried to stop it, all right? I did everything I could to keep them apart. Oh, yeah, you did a brilliant job. What was I supposed to do? Look Aaron in his bedroom? You know what? Even if I had, Robert had gone off with some other lad. I did want to tell you. Yes, but you didn't, though, did you? Katie was the only one who tried to tell me, and I wouldn't listen. I treated her like dirt. Yeah, well, she was my best mate, and even I thought she'd lost the plot. He turns on this flipping act, and we all fall for it, the lying scumbag. A cheating, lying scumbag. I can't believe I ever loved him. I can't believe Aaron did. I just want him out of my life. Sam. Why don't you come in for a drink? Oh, no, I can't. Not with, not with Aaron in there. You could come back to mine. You could open a bottle and um, you could slap me in the face every time I mention the name Robert. Sounds like my kind of game. <laughs> come on, then. I've got somewhere to be. More relationships to ruin? <laughs> Some people aren't meant to be together. Me and Kane are. But you did your best to wreck it. Where's your family loyalty? Open your eyes. He's out kissing other women. You've got problems. He's doing you a favour. Well, do me another. Stay out of our lives. And stay out of Debbie's too. Can't do that. You know, you'd be better off with charity. You've got so much more in common. Mm. Including a kid that neither of you care about. Debbie doesn't want you. She loves Pete. She didn't yesterday. She was ready to leave him, all packed and ready to go. Yeah, and look what happened. She found out just in time what you really like. She was mad at me. Doesn't mean she wants to be stuck with Pete for the rest of her life. Me and her, we are right together. You are kidding yourself. Yeah. Then why does she want to see me? I was all packed and ready to go. Then she called desperate to meet. She still loves me. Oh, I doubt that. Yeah. Well, we'll see, won't we? Oh. <sighs> Kane, please pick up. Ross isn't getting the hint. We need to sort this. Hi. Hey. Hi. Uh, oh, well, that's me done for the day. I thought I'd come meet him. Yeah, well, unless there's something else. Yeah. Would you mind Moses for a bit? Because I really need to find Kane. Huh? Yeah, no problem. Oh, yeah, we'll take you back, Charlie. Thanks. Yeah, and we can try explain to Kyle how they're related. Yeah. It'd be easier if he was at the wedding. Then we could point people out. You need to talk to Kane about this. 
Yeah, well, he, uh, he won't listen to us. But maybe you could talk him round. Well, now's not the time. Debbie needs her dad by her side with no distractions. Yeah, well, that's my point. Yeah, he wasn't much of a dad when Debbie first turned up, but, hey, look at him now. Yeah, but it took time to get there. Honestly, he would love Kyle if he just got to know him. Please, Moira. You sure he's got the message? There's a camera at home, I don't mind. Dad, drop it. Finn said he was leaving. He would have gone if you'd not rung him. He thought he still had a chance. Well, he knows it's not going to happen now, so no point sticking around, is there? I hope you're right. Hey. Are you sure that you want to get married? What? Well, men are pigs. They are all pigs, all of them. Oh, I hope you're not going to be like this at the Hindu. I can't promise anything. Are you going us for a drink? Uh, no. Come on. Okay. Sorry. Hey. Hey, uh, can you do us a favour and pick up my suit from the hire shop? Do I have a choice? Oh. I'm going to make this stag do. A head gasket just blown. Yeah, no worries. Oh, uh, I heard that Johnny might be sticking around. Are we discussing this now? Well, it's your son. You're gonna have to deal with it sometime. Yeah, well, right now I'm trying to keep tabs on the kid I've got. Watch us today, will you? I'll be all over Ross. Yeah, well, if he's got any sense, he'll take Debbie's offer and keep his head down. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, passion, Lawrence, think passion. Let it ooze from every pore. Are you sure he's not the entertainer? <laughs> All right, come on, you drink up. Taxi's are nearly here. No, I'm not feeling it. Soz. What, well, you're bailing on me, stag dick. But why am I even surprised? Why do you even care? You've got your wedding, your candy floss, our granddad's watch. That's it, that's it. You're jealous. Of you? I can't spread it three ways, man. Four, actually, if you count your dirty little secret. Oi! Your granddad passed it to me. He can do the same with his kids. They're not even his kids, they're Debbie's! So maybe he'll have kids of his own. Yeah, well, what if I'm ahead of Golden Boy on that one? You what? Yeah. You know that cute little kid that you've been playing dad to? Moses is mine, mate. So you didn't think to tell us, Moses? Is our grandchild. You choose your moments. I'm surprised you didn't wait till the church. <laughs> well, maybe there's more to come. You and Mum, no wonder she kept that one quiet. You let Debbie go through all that worry and you never stepped up. Fat lot, you CP. Oh, yeah, because you're all so perfect. Where's your little laddie? The one you had with some teenage skank? Oh, you don't talk about Amy like that. Oh, and what are you gonna do? You're gonna ah, kill me? Oi! Leave her alone, Ross. Oh, and you can talk. This perfect mum act. You didn't go near Sarah for years. You can't change what you've done, Debs. Ross, this isn't the time. Get your hands off me, mother, before I remind everybody of what you did to me. And that's enough. Oh, Debs. What? I've been a mum to his kid. He can give me a minute. You heard him. He's playing me. He's gonna blow the whole thing. So much for your plan. Genius idea, that well, was. Well, I didn't know how much you hated me then, okay? Why don't I tell him to stay away? Because he won't listen! This is all gonna come out. Pete's gonna be humiliated. It's all my fault. Well, it's a bit late to realise it now. I want you to get rid of him. I don't care how. A couple of days ago, you were running off together. Yeah, well, now he's gonna make sure that I don't get a single second of happiness. You're the only one that can stop him. Quite a performance last night. If you say so. So you're gonna do the decent thing? What happens if I don't? Not really a choice. So what, you lock me up? Beat me into next week? Yeah, that's the gist of it. You're not much cop at keeping me out of church. Remember Donna's funeral? Yeah. I learned from my mistakes, whereas you don't. Well, it's too late to do anything now. I warned you to stay away from my daughter. Your daughter? was gagging for it. 
She sure uh, went off you, though, didn't she, eh? I that bunker with charity was worth it. Ooh, been fantasising. Wait until I tell Auntie Moira. <laughs> you are never going to see Debbie or Moira again. <laughs> this, <laughs> this, right, is your ticket out of here. I suggest you take it, sunshine. Got it? Ah. <laughs> Karen's got an opening for someone like you. The last time you got me some work, I got a bullet in my shoulder. Shame his aim wasn't better. It's a no from me. I've got plenty of work. Oh, yeah, about that. You're fired. All right. There's some wages plus an incentive. A couple of months with him, and you're free to do what you like. Now, I guarantee you won't look back. Tempting. But I'm not going anywhere. If Debbie wants me to... <clears throat> Debbie's busy. supposed to persuade you to invite them. Well, why didn't you say? Because I knew what the answer would be. Oh, go on, let him have a go on the carousel and some cake. It's no bother. Mm. Oh, it's no bother, because he's not invited. End of. <laughs> We've joined two families today. We're all one, then. Kyle included. Yes, yeah, Sergeant. Go. Again, don't ruin Debbie's big day. So how was Ross? How's oh, Simon? Some help and tell them that we need really, really fast. Did you know about her and Ross? Yeah. Where is he? Where is he? He's dead, isn't he? He's dead. Oh, my God, Open the door. Quick, help me 
Gavin. Kane! Kane! I heard! Help me find him! He's your son! No, he's not! He's not my son, Debbie's my daughter! But you need a doctor now, not you! Hey! Go out, get him, we're going! No, I'm begging you! Help me find him! Bell. Come on, Kyle. She's out of theatre. The monitor in her, but she's still not awake. And where is she? Up the corridor, but give Pete a moment with her, yeah? Hey, listen, you should get yourself checked. I'm OK. As you said, I hope, Pete. No, not really. I can't believe they managed to keep it secret from all of us. Any news? You can go in, though, if you want. A bit of company won't do her any harm at all. Well, there's no husband with her. But as far as I know, you're her only visitors. Yeah. Where are you? What are you doing? She's awake. She's asking for you. Pete, she wants you here. Listen, I, I get it, right? You know, you, you, you needed some time to be by yourself to think things through. And I don't blame you after what's happened, but... You know, what's done is done. <laughs> and whatever has happened, it's over. But Debbie, she, she, she doesn't need any more stress right now. And if you've got any feelings for her, then you, do you need to get to this hospital, OK? Pippi, please. Just, just, just do it, will you? And come and tell her everything is OK. Pete, can you hear what I'm saying? Yeah, all right. I'm on my way. Take some time off, Pete. Yeah, it's not a problem. Kane can cover for you. Since when do I do cows? There's nothing I can do about him anyway. No, I was talking about Debbie, not Ross. We take it away for a few days. You didn't get your honeymoon. No, you're all right. Pete, you're stressed out. You need a break. Well, I'm fine. Will you stop going on. You're not supposed to be resting. Well, I just wanted to see if you fancy some lunch. I'm sorry, I can't. Too busy. He'll come round. Do you want a brew? Uh, I need to talk to my dad, actually. Oh, fine, OK. Right, well, I'll go and see to my cows. Pete's right. You're only just out of hospital. I'm fine. Listen, Emma's been round. She reckons Ross disappearing is down to me, so you need to tell her where he's gone. I'm trying to stay out of this. She ain't gonna let this lie, Dad. I want her off my back, so where have you sent him? France? Spain? The thing is, I don't know what happened to him. Oh, yes, you do. You gave him a load of money and you told him to do one. Yeah, and he threw it back in my face, so I... 
I tied him up in the back of a van. So what, you kidnapped him? Well, he was being awkward. I wasn't having him ruining your big day. Fine, so where is he now? I don't know. When I went back, the van was empty. So he's done a runner, then? Either that or... Or what? The van, I, um, I backed up on the edge of a quarry. Hang on. So, what? If he got out, he could be dead? It's possible. Fine when you went back. Van was empty, the door was wide open. Over the edge? So how could he have got out without falling? I don't know. He's resourceful. Oh, God. Look, there was no sign of him. Why did you go down there and look? No, it was a sheer drop. No, we need to go up there. Right, so we go up there, we find him, then what? What do we tell Emma? I don't know. Look, if he'd fallen, someone would have found the body. I gave him a fake passport. It could be on a beach in Magaluf. Yeah, or we could be dead. What have we done? We don't know we've done anything. Yeah, and we don't know we haven't. Well, the last time I saw him, it was alive. That's all we need to worry about. I've told you, you jump into conclusions. No, no, what? This little tramp couldn't decide which of my sons she wanted, so she got her dad to get rid of the spare. What? I've no idea what you're on about. She's already admitted it. Excuse me, no, I didn't. You killed my son, didn't you? Why are you necking? Or what? You're going to do away with me too? I want answers. Right, is she more deranged than usual today, or am I missing some Your brother did something to my son, and now he's mysteriously vanished. Excuse me if I'm a bit upset. What are you on about? Who told you that? The day Ross disappeared, you turned up late for the wedding. Where had you been? He just said a word with him. OK? I was scared he was going to ruin the wedding. Look, I asked him to leave the village, and for once in his life, he listened. So why are you only mentioning this now? If it was all so innocent? Don't you care what's happened to him? You loved him enough to cheat. Look, whatever Ross has done, he's only got himself to blame. He's your brother, and he could be dead. Why are you defending them after what she's done to you? Because Debbie's sorry. Ross isn't. There's a difference. I, I can't believe that none of you care. But I will find out what's happened to my boy. And if he's come to any harm, I know exactly who to blame. I defend you if you won't explain what went on. I just needed to make sure Ross stayed out of Debbie's life for good. So you were the last person to see him alive? Oh, that, that's brilliant. And what if Emma goes to the police? Listen, Mum's just angry. But I'll talk to her. Make her see she's jumping to conclusions. Well, I might jump to conclusions if you don't start explaining. I, um... <clears throat> I roughed him up a bit and then I left him in the back of a van. And then I went back and he was gone. What? So he escaped? Done a runner? What's he got to come back for, eh? It still doesn't explain why he's not been in touch at all. You know, I'm actually starting to feel for Emma. Oh, really? Really? She's still a mumkin. You knew what I was like when Adam went AWOL. But they should be all glad he's gone. My dad was just trying to protect me. Yeah, and I get that. But this is my family, too. I mean, poor Finn and James, they must be going out of their minds. After what Ross did to Debbie and Moses, stirring it up between me and you, he pushed it too far and I dealt with it. End up. How long are we going to keep up the silent treatment for? Or aren't I allowed to ask any difficult questions, either? Far away. I suppose you think I've seen to Ross and all. No, I never said that. But I know you. And there's more to this than you're telling me. Look, if you know where Ross is... I don't. OK. At least, not anymore. What do you mean? Well, I've told you already. I, I grabbed him, threw him into the back of a van, and then I got him as far away from the wedding in Debbie as I possibly could. And then what? I, I can't defend you to Emma if I don't know the truth. Please tell me he was still alive when you left him. Of course he was. He... It's just where I left him, there's a problem. What made you think that it was a good idea to park the van on the edge of a quarry? I was wound up. It was giving me grief. I just wanted to make sure it didn't go anywhere. I didn't know he'd get out, did I? I don't believe this. What if he fell? 
I went back and uh, looked over the edge. Didn't, didn't see any blood or anything. Well, that's something at least. But have you got any idea how this looks? If Emma found out... Oh, what, are you going to tell her, are you? No, of course not. I believe you. But that means nothing if Ross isn't here to back you up. <sighs> he must have got away somehow. What if someone was passing and helped him? What if he didn't? What if he's... Um... Well, we can't think about that right now. Just need to keep quiet and hope he turns up. And until then, everybody points a finger at me. Oh, Emma's frantic. She's lashing out. And I'd probably do the same. But as far as we know, Ross was alive when you left him. That's all there is to it. Ross runs when he's in trouble. It's probably best he stays away. At least this way, Debbie and Pete might stand a chance of making their marriage work. Not if Emma has anything to do with it. Police. No prize for guessing who called. We've seen nothing, right? What do you think? Come in, why don't you? Mr Dingle, any chance we could have a word? Do we have a choice? Some information's come to our attention. What sort of information? What can you tell us about the disappearance of Ross Barton? Yeah. I had words with Ross, so what? Well, it wouldn't be the first time you've come to our attention for threatening behaviour. No one threatened anyone. It, tensions were high, that's all. Kane's daughter was marrying Ross's brother. It's got nothing to do with the police. I don't know where Ross is. Odd that. Only his family seemed to think you were the last person to see him, so you can see why they might be concerned. I can understand that Emma is worried about Ross. I really do. I mean, he's, he's my nephew and we're all on edge, but this has got nothing to do with Cain. You know that for a fact, do we? I know my husband. Well, that's just it. So do we. Cain, please, what good will this do? You heard what the police said. They are watching you. Don't make things worse. Hi. You served me a trip. Why did you go to the police? He didn't. I did. Oh, look, let's not go through this again. I understand that you're worried about Ross, but this has got nothing to do with Kate. We all know he'd do anything to protect his precious daughter. She put you up to it, didn't she? Are you really that stupid? Nothing stupid about you both being late for the wedding. Why was that? Getting your story straight. Covering for what you did to my son. Oh, don't be so ridiculous. I was with them. It was nothing like that. Do you seriously think I'd kill Ross just to stop him going to a wedding? The Debbie? You would? Have you heard yourself? This is Ross we're talking about. He couldn't handle that Debbie chose Pete over him, so he's gone off in a strop. And you think I'll just accept that? <laughs> now who's being stupid? He has run before. Not this time. Ross is missing, and as far as I'm concerned, that's down to you. I'm not going to rest until I prove it. What did this? What kind of slapper sleeps with two brothers? Oh, but then, she probably learned that from her. What did you do for Ross, eh, you little carjacking angel? Nice job. Come on, Keen, don't let her wind you up. Yo, she's banging on about protecting her son. We all know full well you tried to kill him yourself. How dare you! I won't, won't, won't be intimidated by you! I've not even started yet, sweetheart. Even she thinks you killed him! Oi! I never said that. You're putting words in my mouth. It's written all over your sour little face. I don't care what any of you think. Go to the police, because you've got nothing on me. You called the police? I'm sorry, but I'm not going to sit around while you dig dirt on okay? Kane. I've got to do something. What do you mean? I'm going to do whatever it takes to find my boy. What's she talking about, Pete? What are you doing here? I just come to check that you're okay. I'm probably going to be done for a murder that I didn't do, but apart from that, I'm brilliant. Well, we don't know he's dead yet. Don't know he's alive either. At least today we'll find out one way or another. Yeah. If it's Ross or not, people still think I made him disappear. But you didn't, though, did you? So stop fretting. Yeah, because an innocent man has never gone to prison, has he? Has Pete been here? Uh, no, I've not seen him. Have you heard anything? No. Nope. Great. Now I can't find Pete. That wouldn't be down to you as well, would it? Mm. No, no, no. You know, if you were a real man, you'd come out and you'd say what you did with Ross, but you can't. You're too much of a coward. I told you I'd walk away while you still can. Where's Pete? Uh, he's not answering the calls. Well, 
It wasn't Ross. Oh, thank God. Do you have any idea what we've just been through? Emma. Standing in some godforsaken room waiting to see if our son was dead under a sheep. And you know where he is. I've no idea. Well, they found Ross's car. So they'll find evidence. Found his car where? At the train station where you left it, trying to make it look like he'd run away. So for once in your miserable life, just do the decent thing and tell the truth. OK. You want to really know what happened? OK, don't do that. I tied him up and I put him in the back of my van. And I drove him to the quarry. Cos I didn't want him anywhere near the wedding. I didn't want him messing it up. And then when I went back, he wasn't there. So I was thinking maybe he'd fell over the edge and that would have been down to me. But now the police have found his car, he must have got out alive. So I'm off the hook. So now I'm telling you, you want to really know where Ross is? Stop pointing the finger at me. I just can't get my head around it. And Pete, of all people. He's hardly some master criminal. He obviously just snapped. Yeah, like his neck's gonna when I see him. Hey. Okay. Thanks for letting us stay. It's all right. You know that you're welcome to stay as long as you want. Listen, I hope you don't mind, but I've asked Andy if he can have the kids today. Well, Zach's out there helping anyway, so... I can't believe I've done this to Sarah and Jack again. Hey. You're safe now. All of you. I don't believe this. Get out. Kane, don't! But all I want is Shut to talk. Get out! Leave it! Please, Debbie, just let me explain. Pete, I think you better go. But five minutes! That is all I ask. I went back there. That's where I left him. But he wasn't... He wasn't there. Yeah, we know. Your dad already beat you to it. Well, he's still alive. Just because you forgot why you buried him doesn't mean he ain't dead. I didn't forget. He wasn't there. Right. So you told me that you'd killed him. And now what? Why you suddenly changed your mind? I thought he was dead. But I must have been wrong. Look, Debs, he's alive. This changes everything. Still could be lying through your teeth. But I swear I am not. But if he were dead and someone found him, that place would have been swarmed full of coppers, but there was nothing. Oh, Debs, I know that I scared you yesterday. But it makes me sick just thinking about it. But don't you see? Well, this means that... This means that he's still alive, that I didn't kill him. It doesn't change the fact that you meant to. Well, it was an accident. I, look, I'm not a killer, I'm not Cameron. You thought you'd killed him. You dragged him to those woods and you left him to rot. Two weeks you lived with that. You kissed my kids goodnight knowing what you'd done. So whether Ross is dead or alive, this changes nothing. My dad. Just happy for him to take the blame, yeah? I'm sorry, OK, I panicked. I would never let you go down for it. Got your word on that, have we? No wonder you were so quick to forgive me. Cos you knew what I'd done was nothing compared to what you'd done. God, I've been so stupid. Oh, Debs, please. Don't come near me! You heard her. You think I wanted this to happen? All I ever dreamt of was us being together. A family, we can still have that. You reckon, dear? All that matters to me now is that we find Ross. Debs, please. I can put this right. No, you can't. You know what there was between me and him, and that is never going to change. Yeah, we can get past that. Yeah, maybe I can. You can't. I can see it in your eyes. Every time I say his name. So even if I could forgive you, you could never forgive me. I've not come to cause aggro. Good. Because I said you could stay in the caravan. Nothing about you coming in here. Some fencing down on the top field. That's what you should know. Right, well, now I do. What did he want? Oh, relax, OK? He just came in to tell me about some broken fencing. I told you I don't want him anywhere near this house. Well, I can't just chuck him out. That's exactly what you should do. 
Do you want him attacking Debbie next? Oh, come on. He worships the ground she walks on. So did Cameron. So Ross just... Well, rose from the grave. That's just it. No-one knows. That's Pete's line again. Wouldn't have thought he were the type. Well, it was the quiet one, that. Yeah. Right, I'm going to shoot. Listen. Keep it to yourselves, will you? Anyone asks, Pete and Debbie split because of that affair. Last thing any of us need now is more grief, especially her. Of course. Yeah, send our love. Oh, uh, Sam had it bad. Oh, have you spoke to Sam yet? I'll find out for myself then. Thanks for nothing. What do you have to do to get Mum and Dad to call the police? Dismember me in front of the telly? I told them the truth. If it had been me stood there telling them that I thought I'd murdered you, Dad would have dragged me down to the station like that. Ah. 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 <coughs> Teflon boy, that's you. Always have been <coughs> ever since we were kids. No matter what is chucked at you, you always come up squeaky clean. Because little angel beating just can't <coughs> do no wrong. You ran that ragged. Never stop pushing. There was no room for me to play up. Suited you down to the ground. Pete gets told how great he is and a pat on the head, while Ross gets put on the naughty step every single well, time. Well, Dad stuck by you, no matter what you did. I bet he thought all his Christmases had come at once when you told him I was dead. Poor oh, Ross. Glad to get rid of me. The pain in the backside, the liability, who lost him everything. They have been going out of their minds. No, none of them give a toss about me. I always did get away with murder, golden boy, and it looks like this time you have. <laughs> Ross! <laughs> Ross! 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 We'll call an ambulance now. What the hell have you done? Well, Ross! How is he? Uh, not great. Do you think it could be an embolism on top of his other injuries? He looks like death. Should he be breathing like that? They're going to take him for a CT scan as soon as they can. An embolism? We could lose him. It's all right. It's all right. It's all right. What are you trying to do? Finish him off? It was the farm he turned up. He wanted answers. Oh, and you wonder why? So what, you had another pop at him, did you? In this state? He was getting wound up. Like he went for me and he went down. But I promise you, I didn't touch him. You were there, what did you see? I just walked in. Ross was unconscious on the floor and Pete was holding him. Get out and tell that slapper of a daughter-in-law to stay away. Oh, come on, there's no need for that. Oh, don't you think? Not here, not now. We've got a son back, that's all that matters. Yeah. No thanks to him. He might be here to have a go at Pete. Oh, you can blame him. Should have kicked him out of that caravan as soon as he came crawling back to his dad. Both of them like a bomb way to go off. Pete was just looking at him. And Ross wasn't moving. I thought he was dead. Should've done us all a favour and finished him off once and for all. Kane. Debbie's been asking after him. Wants me to go asking around, see what I can find out. She wouldn't, would she? After all of this? She uses a brain, and that's never been a strong point when it comes to men. Right, so we keep this to ourselves? I'm telling her nothing. She'll find out soon enough. The longer we keep him apart, the better. Oh, uh, thank you for going straight through to voicemail. You're better off giving her a bit of space. Uh, excuse me. No. Listen, I'm going in later with James. Do you want me to pass a message on? Yeah, please. Uh, yeah, can you just tell her that, um... Or just tell her that I'm thinking of her? Yeah, we all are. If there's anything we can do. It's terrifying, isn't it? How fragile we all are. Still nothing for Mandy about when he's coming into work. How are you? I thought you were going to have a lie in. You didn't get back till gone four. I've got to sort my car. It looks like he got some damp on the furry. I'm sure Ross will give you a hand. What's he back at the garage? Well in there. Hope Debbie knows what she's doing. What's that supposed to mean? He saw them at Debbie's last night. I think he's overreacting slightly. I don't give a toss. I just don't like the thought of Ross being around the kids. I'll see you later. See ya. So much for moving on. Yeah. Right. Hey. How was Spain? France. I'll leave you to it. Bet it rained and the food was rubbish. Huh. 
catch up done. I've got a problem, Kane. You can't walk in here and ask me to body bag someone. He killed Katie. My Katie. You, even so, you need more than Andy's word. But not just Andy. Aaron was there. After the accident, he helped cover it up. What? He hates himself for it. I had to stop him from handing himself in. So it was an accessory then? He did what Robert told him. He's poison, Kane. Right. So um, I make him disappear. And then what? You lose the plot like you did after Carl. You'll have to face Diane every day with his blood on your hands. He'll be with you for the rest of your life. Still better than seeing him walking around. Think about what you're asking. You don't come back from murder, Chaz. Supplies kept your order back. Ran out of a few parts. Oh, great. Uh, Saw some from somewhere else. Man of initiative, me. I can have the little one again later if you want a breather. I've got a playlist of his sleep tunes now. Thoughtful as well. Aren't I the lucky one? Well, that's up to you. Hey! Hey! Uh, well, yeah, that looks fine, so phone it in if you want. He never said you were home. He never said Ross was back. Oh, well, me and Dan were snowed under, so... You and Ross are a car crash. You get back with him, you're on your own. People are going to guess you've got something to hide, you know. <laughs> Chaz has filled me in. But she can't help herself, can she? She wanted me to take Rob out of the picture for good. She did what? Don't worry, I talked to Dan. We've got to do the same for you. Now I can hold out till he goes. And don't worry, I'll talk to him when Rainer in. No one's doing anything stupid, right? Right. Yeah. He says that he's seen a real lion. <laughs> Brilliant. <clears throat> it tried again, Johnny. Ken, Ken! Listen to that. Now, I don't know what's wrong with it. We have a quick look. I've got to get this back. Eh? Well, it'll be something now. Well, if it's something now, you'll be able to sort it, won't you? Hey, Charles, see you in a bit, little man. <laughs> oh, you've made her day. She's going to spoil him rotten. You need all the help you can get. I know. It's not like it's as much use, is it? We've all got to pull our weight. Don't suppose you could have another word with Kane, huh? Oh, well, I can try. But it hasn't done much good so far, has it? Not yet. But I know in me gut that he cares about that little lad. OK. Cheers, <sighs> boy. Right. Grab your coat, wench, you've pulled. I'm taking you out for dip. What's he doing here? Johnny needed a break. Is this your idea of leaving well alone? No, it's not just about you. Just thought it was time that he got to know us. I first I can get my drink for you. You know where the fridge is. I'll be back in a minute, Poppy. Would it kill you to say hello? I told you, I don't want him here. But you make time for Jack and Zero. They're family. He's your son. You don't get it, do you? I think I do. You took advantage of a vulnerable teenage girl and you don't want to face the consequences. Look, I know how tough it has been since Kyle turned up. Like, he reminds you of a time that you want to forget, but whatever mistakes you've made, it's in the past. That is not what this is about. You don't need to be scared. He's just a little boy that needs to get to know his dad. Just leave here, will you? OK. But he's going to be here for the rest of the day. I promise, Joni. Hey. What are you doing here? I'm going to have tea in the calf, my treat. Oh, is 
Sounds good to me. You follow me around or what? No, I was... Kyle's hungry as well. Why is he? No idea. Come on. Don't, it's my fault. I should have stopped him. No, it's Kyle's fault. He knows the rules of that traffic. What have I told you about running into the road, you naughty boy? Oh! oh. Where would I be if anything happened to you? What do you really think you're doing? Well, he ran into the road. It was no excuse. You do not, I kids. Kane? My mum always used to slap me. Well, she shouldn't have. I wouldn't have needed to if you hadn't turned your back on him. What, are you blaming me? Kane, just leave it. It's fine. No, it isn't. You ever hit him again, he'll have me to answer to. Don't you lecture me. I thought you wanted nothing to do with him. I don't. Right, sack the calf, we're going for a burger, come on. How do you put up with him? By learning to read between the lines. Hey. Oh, we got you this. I, I thought I wasn't invited. Double cheeseburger. I'll have it later, love, thanks. All right, come on, you. Homework. Do I have to? You promised. You see, this is what I don't get. You're like a dad to that boy. You love him to bits. It's not his fault Charity dumped him on us. Oh, and you leaping to Kyle's defence, that was you just doing your civic duty, was it? I spent my childhood getting knocked about. No kid deserves that. Look, it was just one little slap. Johnny panicked. Well, she shouldn't have. Yeah, well, she's struggling to cope. No, oh, no. Things get a bit too much for her. We could offer him a good home. That's not your decision to make. All right. You carry on pretending that you don't care about Kyle. You keep telling yourself that. You might even start to believe it. Hey, Ed, what's happened? I think Pa's gone rogue and demolished David's shop. You did what? Yeah, redecorated with a sledgehammer. <laughs> I mean, it's biting my nails. Yeah. Well, just stick him in a dress and I'm done with it. Well, I think they look lovely. Yeah, well, at least I don't ignore him while he plays in the road. Keep that up. Johnny will be packing up and taking him with her. Kane. Okay. Yeah, that's right. Run away. I'm telling you, man, he needs to stop acting like a kid and start acting like Kyle's dad. Still be hungry. Zach said you just had your lunch. I am. Yeah, for chocolate biscuits, you mean? I've had three just like you, chocolate monsters, all of them. Hey. Uh, hiya. I was going to ask you to make us a sarnie. We should have stopped off at the cafe now. Yeah, well, Kyle's been asking your dad if you could come and see the animals again. Right, well, uh, I'll be watching the telly while you do. There's, what, sheep and cows, so it'll take about, what, five minutes? Cain? Don't you worry, Kyle. We'll still have some fun together. You can sit in the tractor if you like. Oh. Hi, sweetheart. Hey, yeah, 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 calm down. All right, I, I, I'll be straight there, don't worry. Listen, Johnny's been moved into intensive care and Adam's in a state, so I told him I'd go straight to the hospital. Well, I'll take you there. Well, what about Kyle? Well, I can drop him off at my dad's on the way. Well, I'd rather just get there. Can't you just drop him off home? Well, hang, hang on a minute, hang on. The, this emergency, it's all a bit of a coincidence what we Carl being here, isn't it? Ah, oh, you are unbelievable. I see you. Thinking about Kyle, I wish you hadn't persuaded me to go up there. Well, we don't need the lad will say anything, you know. And what if he does? And Kane takes it badly. Yeah. Give us your plate, can't say. I haven't finished yet. Right. Kane, what's up? Yeah. Only dropped the lad off half an hour ago. More had to go to hospital. What after ma'am? It's somewhat up with Adam's newborn. Sure it's gonna be fine. Can't you look after him yourself for a bit? Do I look like a childminder? I don't think anyone would mistake you for that. Here, I'll pop it. Want some sausage? I'll stop for a brew, but I uh, don't much care for the company you keep nowadays. Daddy, go in now. What did he just say? 
Come on, Dad. Worm your way out of this one. Think it'd make a difference in knowing? Kane, I swear, he didn't hear it from me. No, well, he didn't hear it from Hopalong, did he? Well, <laughs> however he found out, he knows now, and you've got to deal with it. Well, I don't have to deal with anything. It changes nothing. And don't go dragging more into this, either. There's going to be no more cosy trips up to the farm. You got that? Ignore it and it'll go away, eh? You can't keep kidding yourself! Did you get back? Last night. What took you so long? Oh, someone left the flaming taps running. Hi. Beer tap, Sam. They're on full blast. Maybe Diane was emptying the barrels. Oh no, she couldn't have done because she didn't stay here last night. Not after everyone got arrested. She, she walked out. Where'd she go? Victoria's. Oh, so it started already. What has? Everybody jumping to conclusions. You know, guilty as charged. Yeah, well, yeah. we're here to put a stop to that. Makes me wonder if she doesn't know more than she's saying. What was that, Diane? Have you got something to say? Ignore him. I have, actually. Because it's been bugging me ever since he was arrested. Aaron might have pulled that trigger, but somebody lured Robert outside. Oh, right. So, uh, so Chaz is guilty now, is she? It's beginning to look that way. Do you mind joining the dots? Well, for starters, you can't say she didn't hold a grudge against him. Who well, sorted out the village? She'd do anything for her lad, and she's been jumpy. Not her normal self. Why is that, do you think? I'll tell you why. Because she was in on it with him. Sit down, Keen. I mean it. Why don't you keep your opinions to yourself and shut your mouth? Or oh, what? Robert won't be the only one in hospital. Don't you dare threaten me. Please, Keen, sit down. You're only going to make things worse. Yes, OK. OK. <clears throat> You'll only get yourself worked up. It's like there's no doubt. Everyone thinks that Aaron's done it. Tomorrow's fish wrapping. That's what my mum used to say. You saw what Chaz was like. If Aaron's found guilty, she won't cope. We have a way to go yet. Maybe whoever is stalking the pub will slip up. Or maybe Robert will wake up and tell the police who shot him. Yeah. Or maybe Robert will just say it was Aaron anyway. Just for revenge. You never did tell me. I was, Aaron. Not good. I'm just worried he's going to do something stupid the longer he stays in there. Like what? I just need to get him out of there. And how are you going to do that? Stirring up trouble won't help Aaron. Yeah, and neither will doing nothing. Aaron is in a bad way, Chaz is no better, and, and everyone's looking at me to do something. OK. But what are you going to do? Whatever it takes to save my family. You're just going to stand there laughing at what? Give it here. Come on. I know you're stressed, but... Stress doesn't begin to cover it. If Aaron gets sent down today, Chaz will go under. It's already on the edge as it is. Did you know that Diane's accused of trashing the pub herself now? What? That doesn't even make sense. It's shooting. It's really got to her. I've never seen her laugh. Morning. Morning. Did you get any sleep? Uh... Hardly. That's nothing compared to what Aaron must be going through. Yeah. I'll go make you a coffee. Hey, do you um, think it's a good idea you coming to court? What's Aaron going to think if I'm not there to support him? Well, we need you to be strong. And right now, you, you look wrecked. I'm fine. Nothing a bit of industrial strength concealer won't sort out. Thank you. Hey, be careful. How was Aaron? Put on a brave face, but he looked broken. And that's just after a few nights, so he's never going to last if he gets life. We don't know he's going down. Oh, come on, Kane. All the evidence is stacked against him. Adam's gutted that he made that stupid video. He thinks this is all his fault. It's mine. Aaron was only hiding that gun to try and protect me. Listen, the person who's really to blame for all of this is the scumbag who's pulled the trigger. Yeah, and I bet they're loving this. I don't think I can face going into work. But you know what, if, if I don't, it just gives Diane another excuse to kick off. I'll cover for you if you like. You get back to your bed. Thank you. 
I don't know what I'd do without you two right now. I know you're worried about her and Aaron, but he's innocent, so let the solicitors get on with it. All the jury are going to see is a thug who's already on a suspended sentence. What you said last night, that you'd do whatever it took, what are you thinking? I don't know, because I can't think with you pecking me head, can I? Oh, is that right? Don't do anything stupid, Kane. Chaz doesn't need you getting into trouble, too. Please tell me you're joking. OK. So you're not joking? So how would you even begin that? You go to the hospital to visit your kid. And when you're there, you ring Chrissy from a hospital phone saying you're a doctor and she needs to come in and sign some papers for Robert. And when she turns up, I cut whichever tube is keeping him alive. What, as easy as that? I cut whichever tube is keeping Robert alive. And I make sure I leave these behind. I got them from a room. As easy as that. As easy as that. You throw enough expensive lawyers at Chrissy, maybe she'll get off. If she doesn't, then just be a few more years to what she'll get for the helicopter. Either way, I don't care. Well, the main thing is, it's enough to prove reasonable doubt for Aaron. Have you ever killed anyone before? No. But I'll tell you something. I'm looking forward to it. He's crazy. Yes. But it'll work. They're trying to wake him up. Right, everyone's going to be there in a bit. That's why we need to act fast. If Robert dies, Aaron will be put on a murder charge. He will get off if we do it right. Why risk it when he might die anyway? To make sure. To get Aaron out of prison. Nah. You know he wouldn't want this. King, you're asking me to kill my wife's brother. Yes, I am. But you wouldn't be married to her if it wasn't for me. What are you talking about? The day you got married, Robert was on his way to the hotel to stop the wedding. Until I stopped him. After in the pub, he was covered in bruises. Let's face it. It's not the only thing you owe me for, is it? I know. OK, I know. Oh, come on, this. I'm sorry, Kane. I can't do this. Not anymore. Oh, Dad. It's good to see you back behind here again. Yeah, it's like I never left. Beer, wine, spirits, Sandy. You too? Please. So, Chaz is completely avoiding the place, then. Looks like the rotor idea worked. Sorry, I was never any good at ignoring elephants in rooms. She's just worried about someone she loves, like you. What time are you going in? I'll be heading off soon. Oh, I forgot to ask you. How is Bernice's engagement to? You haven't talked to your husband recently, then? No. He's not been answering his phone. Well, why would he go to that? So what about Aaron, then, eh? I seem to remember him making some pretty big sacrifice for you in the past. This isn't the way. It's the only way. I've got a kid now. Do you mean you're scared? Yeah. Yeah, I'm scared. I'm scared of going to prison and never seeing my son grow up. Fine. How stupid do you think you'd care enough about your mate to want to help? You breathe a word of this to your mother. You'll be implicating her. I'm going to do this, no matter what. And if I get caught, she will lie for me. You know that? Yeah. Yeah, I know. I won't tell her. Kane. Kane, don't do this. 
Please. There's got to be another way. Kate! Listen, you couldn't do us a massive favour, could you? It's just I'm the kid's grandfather and... Well, could you find out whether I can get in without one of the parents? There should be someone on the desk. Oh, yeah, but if there isn't, I will look like a right plum lugging this all the way down there, aren't I? I'll check. Two sex. Cheers. You're a star. Any joy? Not without a parent, I'm afraid. Oh, my fault. I should have checked. Thanks, anyway. <laughs> um, I'll tell you what. Maybe this is a bit over the top for a little baby. Why don't you give it to a kid who might like it, eh? Oh, <laughs> thank you. That's very kind. No, thank you. Good afternoon, Herbert Ward. Please. This isn't the way. Get out. No chance. You can't stop me. Oh. All right, do it then. Kill him. But when you do, those alarms are going to ring out. I'm not as fast a runner as you. I'm telling you, this will work. Look, and then you'd be a murderer. Kane, you are a lot of things, but you're not that. He's scum. Should have done us all a favour and died weeks ago. Yeah, but he didn't. You get sent down with this, a lot of people relying on you that you well, Why do you think I'm doing it? Because Aaron's relying on me, Chaz is relying on me, and I'm not going to let him down. I know you won't. I, I know how much you care about him, but this is not the way, Ken, please. Dad, it's the only way. It's the only way. I know that I've been hard on you in the past. Don't start, Dad. I'm, well... I know what a desperate act looks like. What I did to you after that Amy business, when you were doing all that stuff... Dad. That was the biggest mistake of my life. And I'll always, always regret it. But at the time... Well, I thought I was doing it for the right reasons. And look what happened after that. What I'd done to you, what it did to me. And you can pretend that it won't affect you doing this. But it would. I know. Because no matter how hard you try to disguise it, you are a good man. And you know that this isn't right. There really is no other way, Dad. There is. There is, and you'll find it. Because in the end, you will always do what is right for your family. Don't be like that. Just get out rather than throw you out. What do you think is going to happen when you press that button? I'm not going to send in a SWAT team, are they? What do you want, Kane? Aaron didn't shoot you. You're not worth a bullet. Yeah, well, if you're so confident of that, then what are you doing in here? I'm just here to make sure you do the right thing. If Aaron's not guilty, then what are they charging him for? Come on, it's not the first time they've charged an innocent man, is it? It wasn't Aaron. He wouldn't shoot you from some snidey little hiding hole. He'd give you a good hiding and make sure you knew it was him. 
Now, as long as the police have got him inside, they're not going to be looking for anybody else, are they? Which means your trigger-happy little friend is still out there. Yeah, you're not the first person to mention that possibility. Could be anyone. Could be me. And let's face it, you're not going to be winning any popularity contests anytime soon, are you? I'm surprised they're not queuing up outside the door to take a pop at you. Hi, Diane. Victoria, I'm just here to pay my respects. Can I help you? Just taking Doug for a walk. All oh, right. Well, I can do without him or you looking about my van, thanks. I was wondering if you had any news on Robert. They brought him round, haven't they? Well, ask your mum if you're so concerned. She probably knows more than me. What the hell were you thinking? What if the police had caught you there? <sighs> they didn't, did they? Well, it's not just you I'm thinking about. It's not going to look great for Aaron if you get done for intimidating the witness. Shouldn't lose all of him instead, Dad, shouldn't it? You think Aaron did it, don't you? I'm just protecting my family. All of them. Well, why is it always down to you? Because my dad's had it, hasn't he? He said as much yesterday. Someone has got to step up to the line and try and rein him in every now and then. Fine. And while you're off looking after everybody else, I'll be looking after you, OK? Well, I was banking on that. You've got to eat something, Aaron, love. I'm not hungry, Lisa. Adam called us on the way over. There's still no news on Diane. I've sent a solicitor to the station. Explain the situation as well. <laughs> situation, aye. That's one way of putting it. <laughs> OK, well... I guess that's as much as we can do for now. Aaron. Leave him just. Let him cool down. You mustn't blame yourself, love. None of this is your fault. What if Diane dies? She'll be on a manslaughter charge at best. Well, let's hope it doesn't come to that. Actually, I was thinking about going to the hospital. Diane's a good friend. Yeah. I'll come with you. You sure that's wise under the circumstances? I just sit here doing nothing. We're gonna have to face them sooner or later. Oh. Right. Oh. I don't know how much more I can take of this. I just want to see it. Come on, let's go outside, get some fresh air. Oh. Hey, you've got a nerve. Come on, Vic. Chaz stabbed Diane and left her to die. And now you show up here. What are you trying to do? Finish off the job or something? It was an accident. Chaz wouldn't deliberately hurt anyone. Especially Diane. OK, you've made your point. Doesn't change anything, though. I suppose not. So, it was an accident? You know it was. Even so, she still left her there. She panicked. How do you know? Were you there? See, exactly. So, accident or not, she stabbed Diane and left her to die. I'm not sure we'll ever forgive her for that. Listen, Diane's gonna be okay. We, we just want to help. So, if there's anything we can do, you know. Get lost. Excuse me. We still work for news here. Diane Sugden. Somebody must know something. Sorry, I'm not actually. Please a don't fob me off. We've been waiting hours. Look, I can tell you that Mrs. Sugden's out of surgery. Well, I know that already. Is she all right? I believe there were some complications. What kind of complications? It's probably best you wait until the surgeon can talk to you himself. Why? 
What's he going to tell me that you can't? It shouldn't be too much longer now. You said complications. You haven't said what? What complications? <sighs> Let's get your stuff and get you out of here, yeah? So you stay with us at the farm. That's OK. I can't stay here because of my bail condition. Charles did the right thing, you know, going to the police. Shut up, Paddy. Right. Don't tell him to shut up. Oh, it's all right. Well, except, you know, it's not. Mum, come on, don't let it get to you. Charles. Charles, are you all right? Yeah, yeah, she's fine. Thanks, Paddy. Haven't you got a budget to x-ray or something? Oh, well, no, not really. She don't really do... The solicitor said you sent him away. Why do I need a solicitor? I'm guilty. I think you just answered your own question there. I stabbed someone. Not just someone. Diane. I know. You were in pieces, remember? I've never seen you like that. You're off your head. Well, I just put a knife in one of my closest friends. Because you thought you were somebody else. Right afterwards, Chaz, I... You said some pretty weird things. Don't remember. Yes, you do. Mum, we're here for you. It's going to be all right. You keep saying that. But how? I don't know how much more of this I can take. How much more you can take of what? Chaz, this isn't just about Diane, is it? I feel like I'm... Oh, I just don't know who I am anymore. Oh, I do. You're my sister. I'm going to get you through this. <sighs> Some things even you can't fix. <sighs> Hi. Hey. Is Jazz awake? Uh, Aaron's checking on her. Happy birthday, you sexy old-timer. <laughs> now, I know you're in no mood to celebrate, but I can't completely ignore you getting even older. And that comes with the weekend away, when you're ready. Oh. In the city hall. Is your mum all right? Yeah, yeah, she's, uh, she's fine. You've not heard anything from Adam, have you? Yeah, I have. When they operated on Diane, they think they might have found cancer. They're just waiting on some test. But hopefully it's just a false alarm. <sighs> right, well, until we know for sure, don't mention anything to my mum, yeah? She's in no fit state to be dealing with any more stress. You off to the yard? No. I'm going to find out who drove her so crazy she put a knife in her best mate. All right. Only Keane said that you're having doubts about anyone being after her. He thinks I'm going mad. My mum's convinced that someone's after her. And maybe she's right. Maybe whoever shot Robert was aiming for her. Or now they think that she's a witness to the shooting, so they're trying to shut her up. I've got to find out if she's right. And if she's wrong? Then it's not me going mad, is it? Nice one for coming. I didn't want you on to hear any of this. Well, what is it? Robert Shearer had nothing to do with me, Mum. He's certain of it. Well, how can he be? Well, I, I, I don't know, but I believe him. No, you're not the best judge when it comes to Robert, are you? Yeah, all right. But why would he lie? Well, why would your mum? She's not faking being scared of her own shadow, is she? She's scared of her own shadow because she's scaring herself. We've got to face it, Kane. She's not mad. That's exactly what she is. I hate it just as much as you do. She's lost it and it's all in her head and... I haven't got a clue how to help her. I know my sister. She's stronger than all of us. If she says someone's after her, then I have to believe her. Yeah, but no, she's wrong. Kane, I'm telling you, there's no one after her. What do you think you're doing, creeping around people's houses you shouldn't be in? 
Well, the pub was closed and the back door was open, so... So you just break in? What's wrong with you? Keen? Why are you here? To find out how Chas is doing. Why? She's not the enemy. Although you've all treated her like one. Still haven't heard an apology. James. Look, we know your mum's in a bad way and... Well, if there's anything we can do, we'd... We'd like to help. Well, there isn't, so get lost. Right. Oh, I'm away. What do you reckon is happening to me, Mum? When she saw you at the doctor, she freaked out. Because she thinks it's her messing her around. It wasn't. Yeah, I know that. But someone smashed them bottles, and, and someone left the taps on it, and someone put a knife by her bed. Could it have been my mum? Doing it to herself. She was on her own when half of these things happened. No signs of a break-in. You even changed the lock. She's not been herself for a while. Well, you don't look surprised. Well, you just said she's not been herself. How's she been sleeping? Not good, um... <clears throat> she needs pills. How about sleepwalking? Yeah, may maybe. I, I, I don't know. A while ago, she, she came in here and, and she just completely ignored me. It was weird, but her eyes were open. Her blanking you isn't sleepwalking. It would help explain all the other stuff. I mean, if she's acting out in her sleep, she won't remember any of it. It would be terrifying for her. What's happening to her? I couldn't say for sure. But you have an idea? It sounds like some sort of stress disorder. PTSD. Post-traumatic stress. What your mum's going through, stress disorders, they're more common than you think. How long has she been scared? Uh, well, she, she was a bit jumpy just before I went to prison. It was about then that she started to think someone was after her. She's been dealing with this for weeks. Since she saw Robert get shot. What do you think is connected? Well, it could be. She's been through far worse. She thought that she'd killed Carl, all, all that stuff with Cameron, and she coped. But stress builds up. Um, we need to go. Listen, um... If what you're saying is right, how do we even start to tell her? Gently. Thank you. What's that doing open? Chas? Mum! Keen. She's not upstairs. Well, that's her phone. Where's she gone now? Somewhere without a coat and shoes. You call me down and Lisa, see she's gone to theirs. We'll go in the car. Start looking. Come on. You don't believe me, do you? Yeah, I do. I just... I wonder if... Maybe your mind's been messing with you. Like with the other stuff. What do you mean? All the stuff that's been happening to you. Most of the time you've been on your own and there's never any sign of a break-in. Emma doesn't have a key. You think I did it all, don't you? <sighs> Could you have done? No! I'm not making it up! Hey, we know. Sis. Do you think there's any chance you could be sleepwalking? Just now? All them people, they couldn't have been there. You, you could be having some sort of nightmare. Uh, but it seems so real. I had so many nightmares, but this one was different. I was awake. Oh, it's getting worse all the time. I know they're dead, but I heard them. And Robert getting shot over and over. The 
Does that make me crazy? What's wrong with me? Please help me. I don't know what to do. Mum, listen. Mm. We think you might have some sort of a stress condition. Mm -hmm. Maybe PTSD. Uh, oh, well, like soldiers get. No, I haven't been through anything near as bad as them. Yes, you have, you have. Bad enough that your brain's been playing tricks on you. <laughs> Could be the shooting that shook it up, got you all confused. And we're going to help you through this. All right, but, but first we need to get you some proper help. <laughs> oh, whatever it takes to, to make it stop. I'm so tired of being scared. <laughs> well, I know, I know. But listen, <sighs> listen to me. We're going to the hospital, mm. all right? And we're not leaving there <laughs> until we get you the right doctors and we get you checked into the right clinic. And whatever it takes, we're going to do it to get you sorted, all right? Do you think you can do that? Yeah. Tonight? Yeah. It's the only way, isn't it? But what if it's not enough? It will be. I promise you we're going to help you through this, all right? <laughs> <laughs> they've fallen for each other, apparently. I bet they've been carrying on something rotten. Well, how long have they been, you know, since I were at Granny Clegg's, I expect? I can imagine how it went on, her playing the perfect housewife, him lapping it up. She wants to try being the perfect housewife and keeping a full-time job. I think I'll be with her at the B&B. Well, we're heading over there later to drop Kyle off. Then we'll soon find out, won't we? Where's your nana? Right. I think I'd better take him over. No chance. What, you think you kicking off's gonna help the situation? Look, if he is with her, I don't want him going anywhere near my no, son. You can't do that to Kyle. Doors his nana. No, stay here. I mean... It. Great day. How's Lisa? Not good. Is he here? Sorry? Zach. No, why should he be? Well, he's not at home, he's walked out. So you don't know where he is? No, I swear. What happened after I left? <sighs> That's not for me to say, Johnny. Bye, Kyle. I'm sorry. When did he come in? About ten minutes ago. Hang on. Only an idiot would leave his wife and family for someone like her. But then only an idiot would get me to do the dirty work for him. Look, I'm sorry if I've hurt people, but... I've got feelings for Johnny. I can't explain. You fancy it. Get over it. Come on, you hardly know her. I know her enough to ask her to be with me. Have you heard yourself? I hope she told you to get lost. No, no, she didn't. She needs to think about it, but I know she'll say yeah. You've got a wife at home now. Get back to her. You can't do this, Dad. I have to, son. All well, that flack you gave me about being a dad. Now I'm beginning to wonder, was that about me? Or was it about keeping your bit of skirt in the village? I had nothing to do with it. Will you listen to me? You are not walking out on Lisa. What about Belle? How do you think she's going to cope? You're supposed to put your kids first. <sighs> I'm sorry. I don't believe this is happening. It isn't. He's going back to Lisa. You can't make him. Can I? How'd it go? It didn't. I never got there. Has something happened? The site wants to be with me. And you want to be with him? Yeah. Oh my God. What does Lisa know? I'll get it. Um, Zach doesn't even know yet. I said I'd ring him when I made my decision. Is Johnny here? Just get her down. Who is it? It's Kane for Johnny. I'll leave you to it. End it today. It's simple enough. Tell him to go back to Lisa. We didn't mean for this to happen. 
My dad might be gullible, but I am not. I love him. I don't know what game you're playing. In fact, I don't give a fly monkeys. All I care about is my family. And my dad belongs with Lisa. So tell him it's over. Or else. Or else what? I will take Kyle from you. The courts would never give you custody. Then I will get him taken off you. I'll make it my mission. Dump him today and make it convincing. Right, let's move to a vote. All those in favour? Hang on, we haven't discussed it yet. What's to discuss? Is she humiliated Lisa? I made a right fool of myself yesterday. Who? She went round to see him. He had to get out of bed with Joni to answer the door. She's supposed to have backed off. Was she? Hasn't he told you? He threatened to take Kyle away. And what if she's scarpered and taking your son with her? Well, I'd never let that happen, would I? Oh, can we just get on with this, please? Well, nobody's forced you to come. Yeah, you did, actually. I'm trying to sort this. Well, if you're asking me, I think you're making it worse. Well, everybody stop having a go. Who's in charge here? Don't remember voting on that, neither. Oi, Sammy! Right. I've given my dad the chance to make amends, and he has not taken that chance. So from now on, he is persona non gratis. Agreed? I've forgotten him already. Yeah, me too. <coughs> yeah? We have to have a unanimous vote to kick him out of the family. <sighs> OK. Right. Mr. Fischel is no longer a dingle. Tell Marlon and Chaz I'll call Ireland, make sure the whole family knows. As from today, none of us are going to have anything to do with him. You are joking me. Huh? You've you got to have something to chuck me out. I've got to live somewhere. Well, it didn't have to be anywhere around here, did it? Huh? What are we letting ourselves in for? Huh? Oh, he's the least of my worries. I just tried having a word with our Belle. Bet she gave you a mouthful. Well, I wish she had. She's heartbroken. I'm so sorry. But, well, this is your fault. Our Kane's gonna make your life hell. Look, if you wanna go, take Carl with you. I'm going nowhere without you. I love you. I love you too. In that case, we stay put and show people this is for keeps. Your kids will come round in time. Mm. I doubt that. You're a good dad. Deep down, they know that. Hi. He's doing this to warm me up. No, he's doing it because he's got nowhere else to stay. I can't believe he's treating Lisa like this. And Belle. I mean, how's she supposed to cope with him acting like a teenager? You know, all he's ever cared about is himself. I think you're rewriting history a bit. No, 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 no. He got my mum pregnant, and then I had to be brought up by Shadrach. He's always played the field. You're supposed to learn from your mistakes, not revert to type. And where the hell have you been? Fixing a motor. That helped me dad settle in at yours, then. Uh, look, I don't want him there any more than you do, but can he put a foot down? I am not having them in a house next to my garage. Yeah, but on the other hand, at least you know where your little lad is. This isn't about Carl. This is about me dad. I've got Lisa and Bell in bits, not to mention Sam. You need to grow up here and get your wife in order. When has that ever worked? Well, you better. Otherwise, I'll sack you. Be fair. I am being fair. Get it sorted. <sighs> what? Nothing. You're head of the family now. I'm sure you know what you're doing. Welcome. Free champagne all night. Well, certainly for the bongs. Let's not go overboard. Well, Diane's not going to be very happy, is she? You nicking all the customers. Oh, Mum won't mind. Besides, countries of the world is a bit of a broad theme, isn't it? You could come to Switzerland. Why? Because they're famous for their private bank accounts. No, because you like chocolate and cheese. Will we be seeing you there, Lisa? I'm, I'm not really in the mood. Oh. You of all people could do with cheering up. I mean, it's never nice being jilted. Bernice! I'm offering my sympathies. Anyway, at least I'm spending New Year with me and Keen. 
I'd rather have a quiet night in. Zach's a damn fool. I don't need you to tell me that. Well done. Hiya. Hey. Just miss your dad. Oh, well, it's Andy that I'm after, actually. I don't suppose you can have the kids tomorrow, can you? It's just that I've got no idea how late Ross's New Year surprise is going to be. Yeah, of course. Ross has some big New Year plans, does he? Ross? Are you worried that he's going to put Dad to shame? Let me guess. He's sweeping you off your feet to the pub. No, I'm sweeping him off his feet to the pub. <laughs> well, that sounds like a riot. Well, it's better that than a Chinese takeaway and some cow tipping. But I'm sure Ross will have something much more special planned. Mm. Andy, want to set us straight? What about? Ross's big surprise. It's obviously what you two were whispering about yesterday. Come on, don't take a genius. I didn't realise you and Ross were close. Why not? Oh, well, then keep it as a surprise. See you next year. Yeah, see ya. You got a minute, Andy? Yeah. I won't be long. Um, all I need to know is why everything you fed me yesterday was a lie. Italy, France, Germany. Stone me, there's dozens of them. Anybody in Europe, outside? Well, you're Italy, aren't you? Yeah, I've had my share of fireworks, thanks. So, are we going to talk about this uh, pretty little skirt you're wearing, or what? You're not having a happy New Year's Eve? Well, right about now, Ross is proposing to Debbie. Oh. Are you all right? Yeah. You know what I actually am? Welcome to Bernice's party. Tanked. She chucked well because she's rich. Because she doesn't want to be rich. I got confused when she started choking. No. Oh, you don't got rid of them yet. Well, I can't kick them out, can I? Because Kyle might be your little lad, but he's our grandson. Right. Well, your P45's in the post, then. What's wrong with him? You can't sack him because of me. Dan's a good lad. Right, we'll do him a favour and move out, then job done. You're going nowhere, Zach. Oh, you, Joni, I won't have it. Look, they're staying together and they're staying with us because that's what they want. Is that why is it taking Kerry to say it and not you? Is that what you want, really? Well, of course it is. You wouldn't have left Lisa in the first place, would he? Look, Zach and Joni love each other and it's nobody else's business, right? Lisa love. No, I'll look after her. Al, I'm so sorry. I didn't want it to be like this. Belle! Oh, Johnny, I'm so sorry, Lord. Oh, I'm so sorry. She's hurting. We all are. I just want to go home now, please, Zach. Whatever you want, look, whatever. Look, me and Johnny are sticking together, and we're staying in the village. I love her, so just get used to it. This is the big one. <laughs> Ten, Ten. Nine. Eight. eight seven. Happy New Year, Lise. Happy New Year. Cheers. Right, who wants to get a little bit?